All right, we're here. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another nightly live stream. It's me, the host of the stream, Mr. Card Economist. How's it going, everybody? I hope you're having a nice day. All right, are you guys ready to open some cards? Ooh, time for that X, no, not XY, black and white plasma blast. Let me get this music going real fast. Hold on. I'm going to play Mike Side's version of this. <laughs> here we go. I'm going to close this down. Ah, there we go. We got the mic side edited version now. How's it going, everybody? Hey, we got the new emoji. Thank you, Arturo Perez, for getting that to a one-to-one -one ratio for me. Big shout out to Mr. Coeli. Happy birthday. Did you guys know when Coeli made those donations for the memberships, he didn't go with the $2 membership. I think he went with the more expensive membership called Pokey Blessed. I'm not sure what that is, if it's like $5 or $10, but that's nuts, man. He handed out so many of those. Excuse me. So it was kind of like a birthday for him, but it was a birthday for me. We did it. That was the most popular. Hey, Mike side. That was the most popular emoji when we did the little emoji contest. By the way, we need 65 new members in order to get a new emoji slot. And I thought I would mention because Coeli gave me an idea. If you wanted to, you could buy that slot outright. You could buy 65 memberships by gifting them and then just tell me the emoji you want. That's really expensive. It's definitely not worth it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, anyone's allowed to do that. And I'd never even thought about it before until Coeli did that crazy giveaway. So Coeli, not only did he gift all those memberships, but he bought a bunch of product last night for himself and for others. Pretty wild, man. Mr. My Work was selling celebrations today. Show us your face again, says Evan Cook. You can see my face all day long if you check the link at the top of the description because I released a new video talking about my predictions for the card market in the next year. So you can go watch that. It, it, we just released that today, and it's just me talking to the camera. Now, I want to show you guys something really nice that I worked on today. Look at this. Ah, doesn't that look nice? Man, that's what I was working on all day long. <laughs> So I was cleaning up this side of the table. Uh, I was clearing out year-old bags. I was removing some hollow cards from bags that were six months or older. As you guys know, I do that. And uh, the table is so much more clean now. Uh, cheese shipped recently, so I was able to turn his old spot into a third spot for uh, CZ cards. And then we got an AL3. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's it nice. The video did really good, says Mike Side. Oh, yeah, well, uh, obviously, because it's so much longer than a short, it, it gets like a million more views. Did I say views? A million more watch hours. There we go. Mister's video is 10 out of 10 and a hairline of 10 out of 10. Koali, hey, Koali, let's make you an honorary, honorary moderator. Would you like that for fun? Yay! Dude, I didn't know you handed out Pokey Blessed memberships. That's freaking expensive, dude. Happy birthday, Coeli, by the way. And um, yeah, let's get this stream going. Cheese shipped. Wow, says A. Perez. Yeah, he did. Um, all right. So let's talk about what's happening tonight. We have an Ancient Origins box break. Traditionally, this is a very popular box break that moves pretty fast, but it's also pretty expensive. It's well known for hosting a, a, one of the best cards in the XY era, a couple of the best ones, including a full art Lugia, a full art Mega Rayquaza, Groudon's in there, and a lot more. Um, it's also got the ancient trait cards. So similar to Roaring Skies, you have like a double chance for a hit. You know what I mean? The box has more hits than a traditional booster box. Okay, and now Plasma Blast. Um, let's see, which one are we going to open? I think we're going to open this one. I think this one's going to stay sealed. So that's the nicer of the two. We're going to place this now. All right. So this one's getting opened, and we are going to go ahead and pull people's pulls out. Let's see what happens. Uh, time's up to buy into the Plasma Blast box. <laughs> There's only five people. Actually, wait. Let's finish this Battle Booster first, okay, guys? So there's one spot left in the battle booster. And when that sells, that'll give us two spots over here. And then we'll pop this guy open. You know, it wasn't very popular. I've seen some booster boxes sell very quickly. You know, something that sold very quickly despite a very high price. 
was the uh, Rocket First Edition boosters. Didn't matter how expensive it was, people just wanted it. So, but this, on the other hand, uh, people just don't want it. And I, I have a feeling that a great part of that is just the fact that maybe people don't see Plasma Blast happen very much, so they don't know what they can pull out of it. So it's, it's a fascinating thing to me, and... Um, you know, maybe seeing some packs open tonight will help you understand what's in it. I'll take the remaining packs and just sell them off one at a time, and that'll just be the way that it goes. Uh, actually, you know, we were doing that with, like, this guy here. That was working really well. People were actually just buying it. So, and speaking of which, let me get a price on that guy. Also, I love these case, uh, these uh, booster pack display cases. They've really been a nice thing. So let me get some of the stickiness off there. All right. Happy Tuesday night. As you guys know, there was no lunch stream. Can I buy one spot outright? Go for it. Go for it, because we're going to open those packs, okay? All right, so this Dragon's Exalted is for 120 just like before. Uh, I still have lots of expensive slabs to... Ooh, that's nice. I have lots of expensive slabs to price up for you guys still. So that's still going to happen. Okay. So, let me write this down as Ancient Origins. We love Ancient Origins. Ancient Origins, over time, has gotten more and more expensive. I don't expect that to change anytime soon. It is just too good of a set. You know what I mean? I mean, the hits, there's just so many of those hits. Did you guys know I actually have three cases, three of them, of those Ancient Origins all stocked up? Very proud of that. Took me a long time to build that up. Uh, I, don't, I don't like to buy all at once because if you do, you just drive the price up all of a sudden. So I like to buy a little bit here and then wait a while and buy a little bit there. You know, that's how I like to do it because I don't want to be the reason that the market's moving. But I bought up three cases over time and... What's crazy is I think I started buying back when they were just $600 a box. Wild, right? So boxes are really appreciated. And those are going to be a long-term hold for me. Such a great set. Mister is an ancient origin scalper. <laughs> well, every person has a right to buy what they want. Uh, and some sets I think are going to outperform other sets over time. I think they will. Look at that Haunter. Speaking of which, if I had to open a set, Ancient Origins would be high on my list because it's such a nice set. Ooh, Trico. What's better, Pokemon Top Series 1 or 2? All right, honest answer, I'm going to say open up that Top Series 1. You know why? Chance for a Hollow Charizard. Now, Top Series 2 gives you a chance for the Translucent or Transparent Charizard, but... Let me turn this down. But... That one does not go for as much. Okay, so the, the transparent Charizard is not considered as desirable. And so that's why you'll go for the regular Hollow in Series 1. Now, Series 1 also has Blastoise and Venusaur in it. And Charmander and Squirtle and Pikachu and Bulbasaur. So it's a quite a good set. Now, I, I like Series 2 anyways. There's a lot of cool cards in that set too. Uh, that said, I believe it has holographic Gengar, by the way. So they're, they're different, <clears throat> but my, my professional opinion is that Series 1 has the edge, but then it's often more expensive as a result, okay? Did anyone buy the last Baster, Baster Battle Booster spot yet? If not, I'll get it. Boy, I'm in a lot of pain tonight, guys. I woke up this morning, and I guess I had slept at a stupid angle. I do that. I pass out at night. I got this little pillow I put under my head. It's like my neck was broken. You ever done that? Oh, I did that to myself. Now I'm like stiff as a board. I'm trying not to move my neck at all. I'm just trying to keep my neck still. <laughs> it was hurting all day. It like, actually, I should go take a painkiller. I didn't even think about that. There's painkillers exist. Yeah, maybe I'll go take a quick painkiller. But uh, so I've just been moving real careful all day because I fell asleep at a stupid angle with my neck and I woke up and it's like I broke it. <laughs> we are the same, mister. Quip was needing you over, mister. Not today. Not today. Let me get a painkiller real fast.
All right, I'm back. I don't want to hear any more gibberish from you guys. No more gobbledygook. Okay, got my drink. Oh man, refreshing. Boy, it's hard to drink even. Excuse me. Any dark dragonite slabs for sale? I don't think so. I got a gold duck. I got a haunter. Does anyone know what my Glaceon graded? The Glaceon got a 10. It was slightly off center, so it had no chance at the pristine. I think your other card that I gave you, the Tyranitar, graded 9, I'm pretty sure. And then John would have encapsulated those. Ooh, I forgot about it. So, yeah, they're probably encapsulated right now. I'm sorry. I can run off and grab them. I should have told him to, to hand them off to me. Whoa, that's a good one. Look at that swirl. Wow. How did this grade 10? <laughs> it's so clearly off center. Uh, look at the top to bottom, man. How? I don't know, man. Look, I'm not mad at PSA for giving me a 10, but there were some other cards like this one. And I thought this probably ought to be a 9, but they gave it an 8. And so they gave this a 10 when it probably should have been 9, and they gave this an 8 when it probably should have been 9. I don't know. Maybe it evens out. I don't know, man. <laughs> It's such a subjective thing, and I actually really wonder how hard they work on it or how if they got, like, some sort of quota they got to meet. All right, get all the cards graded in 10 seconds. Will you do another Fossil Break soon? I certainly will. We're going to do Ancient Origins first, and then I think we will be doing um, – what did we do last with Gym Heroes? We'll probably be doing Fossil right after then. What's up, Eileen? Mister, what about my whole bag for that energy? Energy. Ah, you want that energy, huh? I, oops, I don't really want your bag is the problem. I'd rather have 35 bucks. But, ugh. you know why, Zach? It's because I got too much stuff. Oh, that's Zach Caples. I got too much stuff already. Wait, which Zach is, this is Zach. Wait, which Zach is this? Is this Zach Patch? All right. Hmm. Let me turn this music back up. May the pokey gods smile on you. Kyle Sexton says no. Panty rate says Cloud. Different Zach. Different Zach? Yeah, I thought it was like a Zach Mahaney or something. I can't remember, actually. So, my spidey senses tell me I'm supposed to save this. Um, I don't know. He's some goofy off-center 10. So, Zach Mahaney. I have to reach so far away to get this back. Ooh, a lot of Zacks. I'll do it, man. I'll do it because cause you want it that bad. You want that energy that bad. I'll do it, okay? I don't even know. I Like Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them. So, Zachary Mahaney. Give it to me, mister. There we go. How much for the Venusaur? Did I spell this wrong? Thank you so much, Zach. It's all yours. So the Venusaur is a beautiful card, truly collectible. A real titan amongst humans. Wow, bad deal, mister. Uh, stop! <laughs> now you have me second guessing. So, ugh. Japanese base set Venusaur. Venusaur with the swirl. Okay, not any Venusaur. This is the special Venusaur. Now, my opinion is that it's a bit off-center, right? Uh, however, PSA gives it a 10. That means you will be able to sell it as a 10. Uh, it has a modern certification of 6.5. That's pretty pretty far along. The, the first two Venusaurs I see are both old certs, Okay. And then the one right after those two is at $1,000. So I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not really in a rush to sell this guy. And I'm just going to match the one with the modern cert. 
Okay, if you want a cheaper Venazor, there is one on eBay with a super old certification. I generally don't buy those myself, but I'll show you what that looks like. Here we are. That's the old certification. So if you want to buy that one, go for that one. All right, Venazor is up on the table. He would make a great addition to the large, don't you think? It's Justin Huerta. How's it going, Justin? It's nice to have you here. What I missed? He's lip syncing on the face cam. Mifdor's my dad. I don't think I am. You would know. Just sold my PSA Blastoise base set for a thousand. Nice, man. That's really cool. So tonight, Ancient Origin and Plasma Blast. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? Look at these members in the chat. Look at all these members. Are these valuable at all? I honestly don't know if these are valuable. I don't think they are. He just traded me these uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards. <laughs> I got no clue what I'm doing. Hey, mister, is this pre-recorded? It's pre-recorded. The Club Fable can go back into the poker card box at least. Anyway, back you go. Q building up his Legion of Member Minions. Um, Got some older hollows. I don't really feel like grading them. Oh, there's another drowsy. I didn't see that. Okay. Oh, it's broken. You can take it back, mister, if you want. No, it's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Alex, I saw you earlier. I think the two poker cards will be probably fine. So here are some more of these Yu-Gi-Oh! hollows. Can you pan stage right? You're off center. So I could have the camera here, but I actually like to have the camera here. And this is kind of like my extra pile of slabs off to the side. It's like my little storage uh, place. So these are going in the bulk. Bye. <laughs> and then we just have some of these hollows, huh? Print plups way off center. Hoot hoots way off center. God, look at this Empoleon. He's way off center. Froakie's looking kind of off center. Is Froakie off center? Frogadier's way off center. They're all off center. Hexros looks okay. All right, so those are all way off center. Okay. I think he's just too off center, man. You're off center. <laughs> this one looks okay, but he's too off center, to be honest. All right. So I, I gave you the card you wanted in exchange for a box of goofy stuff. I honestly don't know what to do with these. <laughs> Let's get started. Someone canceled an automatic payment to me? Unacceptable! Mr. Watches TCA. It must be um, it must be somebody converting over to vendor roll 2.0. That must be it. Maximilian Worm. I'd like to use my two express grades, please. You can choose which cards because I don't know what I have. It's a small bag, don't worry. Please tell me the cost of shipping. All right, so Maximilian Worm. Well, let's see. Let's start off by seeing if we can find your bag. Sounds like you have a real old bag. Hi, you're listening to Charlie Brown music. Please acknowledge this time. Yeah, this is uh, Charlie Brown. I love Charlie Brown music. This is the second song I recognize. I love Charlie Brown music. When I was a little kid, we always celebrated the holidays. It was like a serious effort to celebrate them. And we always watched Charlie Brown. So, and the music is so good anyways. Like, even if you didn't watch it when you were a kid, it's just good music. Matthew Fowler. All right, let's see. Matthew Brady. Well, Mr. Worm, I didn't find you in box number one. Let's try box number two. How old was this bag? Was it super old? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Not seen it here. How about here? Hiker Theo said I could buy pokies. Here we are. So you do have an older bag. It's a good thing you're collecting. This bag is at high risk of losing cards, okay? Or just being gotten rid of entirely. Let's see. Well, probably this. And this, I'd say. Okay. Um... It's a surprisingly heavy bag because of the metal card, by the way. So I don't know if you're international or not, but that is a heavy bag. With that metal card and two slabs on your bag, I think you will probably hit over the 8-ounce mark. It's because of the metal cards, man. They're ridiculous. Okay. I hope Disney doesn't buy Charlie Brown. They ruin everything they touch. Oh, yeah. I didn't even know that was a possibility. That would suck. I'll give you the updated uh, date of 922. Now your bag has been protected. Yay! No one can touch your bag now. Has anyone watched Andor? Oh, man, I keep getting ads for that, and I keep thinking, who cares? Maximilian, I have I have no excitement for it. Okay. There we are. So this is going to say nine what twenty eight nine twenty seven. Oh, this marker's definitely dying. Oh, my God, it is really dying. There we go. International buyers paying in American are taking a massive hit right now, and it's only going to get worse until the USD collapses. Time to buy a house in the UK, man. I'm always talking about doing that. I literally got on my laptop last night, and I was looking at houses in Brighton, UK. I was like, hmm, 427 pounds. That's doable. I was looking at it with a new set of eyes. I was like, that's affordable. I could do that. Get a good down payment going. Sell off a few pokies. Let me get some fresh Sharpies here, guys. I was looking at it with a new set of eyes, man. All right. Got a fresh marker here. This is one of those clicky markers. I want to try something. Can I send fifteen dollars for one hundred semi ridges instead of a thousand? What? Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> Mister, have you watched Death Note? Ugh, I had a girlfriend that just she always wanted me to watch Death Note. You gotta watch Death Note. Then I finally watched it, and I was like, "This is cringe." Here we are, Kabutops. Test. Hmm, that seems hard to read. <laughs> well, this marker is like camouflage for this card. You can barely see it. And this is the golden one. Send your vintage to me. The card is very nice. I think Argentina finally wins it. I sent for the Venusaur. Let me take them off the table. All right, so let me try this on this one, maybe. I like this silver marker. Well.
Oh, wow, that's good. Look at that. You can really read that. 1,000. I'll watch your video. Very informative. Basically, I'm only buying 10s from now on. Yeah? It's cool, man. Whatever you guys decide to do, I hope it works out for you. Oh, yeah. Look at that, guys. Huge improvement. You can actually read that. Hard to beat this, though, isn't it? That is hard to beat. The little sticker with the price tag on it. That is just hard to beat. No tense, mister. Look what you've done. <laughs> Depends on the color of the card. So we got these other markers to try and find a way to um, write directly onto the sleeve like I've done before. The problem with writing directly onto a sleeve is eventually it, it, it's hard to see eventually. Nothing beats the sticker. I think you're right, though. Yeah. I think one of the problems is that the writing casts a shadow underneath it. Yeah, no, no. Hmm. It's faster to write with the marker, you know that? Putting the sticker down takes time. I'm surprised you aren't keeping any sword and shield. In five to ten years, people may buy the nostalgia for the Pokemon boom. Um, so I'm quite good at what I do. I'm very good. Uh, I, I won't lie to you. I think I'll be a millionaire soon. And the reason I'm so good at this is because I'm really good at doing the math. And we are. And I'm not talking about just being a millionaire for my income, but like from the change in value of my cards. So even if sword and shield goes up like that. So let's say Sword and Shield is rising. Um, let's say TCC's picks simply rise faster. That's it. So why would I go why would I go with Sword and Shield when I have picks that are rising faster than Sword and Shield? And this is accurate actually. I How do I know it's accurate? It's cuz I move huge volumes of cards all day and uh, I watch changes in prices very 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 carefully. It's the thing I'm most interested in. And what's not moving in price the fastest is Sword and Shield. This is moving very slow, actually. And, uh, yeah, so some of the things I am buying are moving in, in price very, very quickly. Some of it's, like, uh, going up in price at ridiculous rates. Maybe times 10. All right. Very good. Ah, yes. Professor Card Economist. What are T TCC's picks? Do tell. Well, uh, that's the problem. You know, if you talk about what's moving in price the most, everyone just jumps on it, and then you can't obtain any more of it. So it's usually something you can't talk about. All right, so we're moving on. We've got Zach Caples. I have a bag. Could I get one Lost Origin? Ooh. I can tell you what it's not. I can tell you it's not Umbreon. Here we are. That's why you never see me buy an Umbreon. Have you ever watched me buy an Umbreon? You think I don't buy Umbreon because I think he's ugly? I think he looks great. i just been doing this too long. What's one card you weren't expecting to go up and down like it did? Yeah, I have a lot of cards that did that. Um, I mean, I could pick any card. Karen's Umbreon is a great pick. So Karen's Umbreon, I was buying Karen's Umbreon at a high price. I thought it was a high price. I think I bought in at $1,300. Now Karen's Umbreon's like 2800 or something. I don't know if it's 28. It might be 24. So that's pretty good. Zach Caples. Oh, Mr. Zach. How nice. Okay, and now we have Tyler Berry. One Pokey Bear. Oh, Mr. Tyler. Here we are, Pokey Bear. 
Mister, do you ever catch up on the bulk boxes? I did. We're all caught up. What's the line like? We just started, and it says here four people in the line. Quite short. Here's Radiant Gardevoir, Roserade, Rotom, Drapion, Gudra. Usually it takes a little while for things to heat up in the stream, I noticed. We seem to get a lot more order as the night goes on. All right, Tyler Berry. Let's find your bag, Tyler. Here we are. <laughs> Any Zart Slabs? Mister, are the older cards your best sellers and best to invest in? So, everyone would like to know what's the best card of all time to buy right now. And it's a mystery, isn't it? Because if people knew, they would just go buy it. And they'd buy so much of it that it would no longer be a good deal. Because the demand would drive the price up to the point where it's no longer a good card to purchase. So, it doesn't really matter what I say. Uh, you'll either drive the price up too high on it or... Uh, it'll remain a mystery either way, because once the price is too high, it becomes a mystery again. Okay, now we got Luis Rodriguez, three Evolving Skies. I really like the old Japanese Neo Hollows. Mister, I'm investing in Riley Reed promos. Those will probably do pretty well. All right, Luis. My bestie. So, Luis Rodriguez. We got High Dragon. Ooh. We're getting ready to open up the Plasma Blast booster box. There's still time to buy into the booster box. We're not opening a whole box. Uh, you know, we've ran out of time to sell it. I want to move on to the next box. So it's going to be a partial opening. But you guys are still able to jump in there if you'd like. There's $93 per booster. So it's going to go off in a moment here. Luis Rodriguez. Mm -hmm. Ancient Origins is hot. What type of Pokemon is a Riley Reed? Delta Species is probably going to be the best investment in 10 years. Yeah, uh, I was buying Delta Species last year in November. Delta Species is cool, man. When I look at Delta Species now, it's pretty expensive. That's exactly what happens. It gets real expensive. There we go. Leafy on. Ew. Ruby Sapphire to the moon. Mister, are the best cards to invest in the older ones, right? And are they your best seller? I'm not going to say the older ones. I'm going to say the ones that are out of print. If it's not out of print, they're still printing it. Why are you buying a card that they're still printing? It doesn't make any sense. If everyone buys the card that's still in print, they're just going to reprint it. So... It's impossible for a card to become rare if they're still printing it every time you open it. That's the problem. Powderly Pet Shop, five Astral Radiance. All right, Powderly. That's why I'm trying to provide things like Black and White Dragons Exalted, Plasma Blast, Ancient Origins, Roaring Skies. Trying to get you guys some cool stuff. The poker cards, Pokey Brothers sometimes have some cool stuff in them. But yeah, um, stuff that's still in print, I don't know, man. I do not know. We got the tops cards are cool. Yeah, we got a lot of options. Did you know they're selling celebrations at some Walmarts? What? That's like from last year. So what you're saying is we should stop buying Pokemon so that Pokemon can cut back on the printing, making it more rare. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that if you're buying into a set that they're still printing, they're just going to print more of it each time you buy it. All right. One Lost Origin. They get their sales figures back from the card manufacturer. The card manufacturer says, yeah, they bought it all. And then Pokemon says, really? All right, let's get more of that. And then all of a sudden, there's like a million of them. And it's, so it's impossible for it to be rare at that point. Now, there's a lot of hype for the latest set. Don't you guys remember Vivid Voltage? How crazy it was? Vivid Voltage Pikachu selling for like more than $1,000. He's like $400 now. Maybe less. Everyone thought he was so cool. He was so beautiful. He was amazing. Then some new cards came out and they were amazing. And it's like, let me, let me ask you this. You really think this is the greatest card Pokemon's ever going to print? They're not going to find a way to print one even cooler? You know what I mean? So maybe the feeling with the latest print cards is 
This is as good as the hobby gets. Nothing's going to look better than this one. No, that's not true. They just put out the next cool card. You know what I mean? So, but that's my opinion. You don't have to agree with me. All right. Powderly Pet Shop. I think Rainbow Chunky Chew is the best rainbow. Here's Quillfish. That applies to everything in life, though. Here's Cresselia Charizard. Look at this Charizard. There we go. Pot report is easy. Hey, mister, in your opinion, were all the Sun and Moon sets printed into the ground? No. Um, but there's still a lot of it left to open. Mr. Pikachu is selling for about 100 via TCG player. Mr. Mr., my mommy said my opinion matters more. I was thinking Sun and Moon. Yeah, Sun and Moon is pretty cool. Here we are. So, how about that? Picking up the Ultra Rare. Easy snipe. That was the last pack in the box, too, by the way. That's for Powder Elite Pet Shop. Let's find his bag. Okay, let's see. Wait, you didn't say new bag, did you? He said, I have a bag. All right, we're going to go look for it. I love how clean it is over here. Did you, did you guys see how clean it is now? Oh, wow, that's organized. So nice. Whew. I opened a heavy jungle pack, and it had a non-hollow victory bell. I felt sick because I paid extra because it was heavy. I've done the same thing. Total ripoff. Total ripoff. It's heavy, I swear. Hit that like button. Would you say Sword and Shield base was over? Yeah, hit the like button if you guys want to. Uh, if you guys want to give away tonight, it's got to get to 200 likes. That's how it works. I'm down 18 percent in my 401k. I'm down 16, so we're we're pretty close, dude. Can we get politicians that just like fix the economy or something? I get it. It's not all up to us. It's this stupid Ukraine war too. But it's like, man. I don't know. I, I just want that war to be over fast. I don't care who wins, to be honest. I don't even care. Just get it done with. Like, can we wrap it up? Wrap it up! Ukrainians win or Russia wins? Just get it done with. Connor James Fletcher is ready to jump onto the Ancient Origins box break. Inky. Connor J. Fletcher. They need to wrap that up. Did you guys hear about the Nord pipeline blew up? They believe it was uh, Russia sabotaged it. That's what they think happened. Crazy. Okay, now he also wants two brilliant stars. Let's see, brilliant stars. Brilliant! I just want them to wrap it up. The United States tossing... Fourteen billion dollars to a war to do to do a proxy war, a shadow war. Russia killing a bunch of people mercilessly with their horrible weapons. Awful, man. Here we are. What if this war goes on for years? Well, I don't know, man. Maybe the economy will just reflect the way things are. Europe's got to become energy independent. They're so focused on environmentalism. They got to throw all that out the window right now and get get on track with making energy. Would you be interested in my sleeve Supreme Victor's blister? Maybe. I know what you're talking about. I've seen those before. Those blisters are pretty expensive though, right? So why would I want a blister when I can just, I can actually just afford to go buy the box. Okay, so I can just go get the box of Supreme Victor's. CGC grades games now. I heard about that. That's not till uh, October, though, right? That's pretty soon, though. William Schaffin, sorry about your neck. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying not to move it. It really hurts. Five My Little Ponies and two Top Series 1. All right, I'm excited to open this for you. Guys, we got a nice vintage opening. The Top Series 1. Can I find a spot for this, please? All right, Top Series 1. Here it is. Now look, these are green labels. Very cool. So there's a lot of variety with these cards, and you're getting the green label variety. Hopefully you pull a Charizard. Now five My Little Ponies as well. Do I still have My Little Pony? I didn't run out of it, did I? I think I have some behind me. Give me a minute. I'll give you a nice neck massage. Oh, that would be lovely. Yeah, I'm like straining here. I'm trying not to move my neck or anything. Here, Oh, wait, there it is. I found it. We do have an open box. 
One, two, three, four, five. Here we are. All right. This is Rand's favorite booster pack, if you guys didn't know this. Did you sleep wrong? I did. <laughs> I woke up and I was in so much pain in my neck. I was like, what have I done? All day long, I was like moving, careful. My shoulder hurts. What about a team up box break? We got a box right now. We could do that if you wanted, but I don't know. It's kind of expensive. Not a fan. Did the plasma box get opened yet? Not yet, but it will happen tonight. We're waiting for the battle boosters to finish, and then we open up the plasma blast. Now, if you're wanting to be part of that, there's still time. You can send in an order for the plasma blast right now. What do we got? What the? F Are you okay. Three non hollows. The Twillicane. Inky. Uh, Mr. Congress just gave Ukraine 12 billion more today, but the same government has undrinkable water in entire cities. Banana Republic. Hmm. Ooh, Red Dragon. That's like Charizard, but in My Little Pony. Wow. Did they really approve 12 billion? Can you guys confirm that? I would turn and check on my laptop, but I don't want to turn. <laughs> 12 billion? What does that bring our total cost in the war up? I mean, it's basically us fighting the war financially. That's crazy, man. It's kind of like Ukraine didn't build up their military, so we're paying for that. I don't know how I feel about it. I it, it, it sort of makes Ukraine our responsibility. Is there some kind of reward at the end? Do we get all that money back somehow? Does Ukraine pay dividends on that money? So, like, do we get it back and then Ukraine pays dividends? I, I don't get it. It would help if our politicians spoke more about the subject. I just want to know what the plan is. You know, I want to know how the money gets spent. And I want to know why it's such a good use of our taxpayer dollars. There's wars that go on around the world. And we don't usually talk about them or care about them. I don't know. There must be some some benefit to it, right? Which would you rather have, bodies or money? They better pay us back. Why do we care? Turn Ukraine into a state. <laughs> and what's scary about it all is if Putin gets really angry, he can just use a nuke. I don't know how the rest of the world would respond. Would we then nuke Russia at the risk of being nuked ourselves? What if Russia nukes Ukraine? Would you want our leaders to use a nuke on Russia? What if Ru Russia retaliates and literally nukes us? I mean, you're talking about end of the world kind of scenario, right? That's like post-apocalyptic stuff. Wow, these are in fantastic condition, barely sticking at all. Oh, it looks like you got Weedle. Oh, no, you got Weedle, man. <laughs> I think it's always best if you collect what you like. Oh, yeah, of course. Wait, wait. Oh. It's not Weedle. Hold on. It just looked like it. Oh, it's going to be Doug Trio. Now, look at that. Beautiful. Look at these. This is why the tops is so expensive, guys. Do you see how clean this is? What a nice round. So these are some really solid tops cards right now. If you were to pull Pikachu, Pikachu, Squirtle, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, I mean, it could be a, it could be a potential 10. PSA is going to get nuked. No. Inky, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. Don't drop. Meowth. Oh, there we are. We got Professor Oak. You got a lovely Professor Oak. Weedle me this. <laughs> Let me send out the pit bulls to take care of Putin. Why do they stick? I don't know. They're glossy. Okay, we got Kadabra. Ash and Pikachu, uh, Jesse, and Golem. All right, pretty cool round, man. Mm -hmm. Another Pitbull mauling happening right now. Is it actually? Nah. -uh. Mm -hmm. I like to put these back into their holders. These holders are well designed for taking care of these cards, making sure that 
They don't receive any scratches or anything. And then these are your two beautiful hits, Doug Trio and Professor Oak. Wow. So cool, man. It's kind of like the public money taxes get turned into private money. $12 billion to Ukraine, which is going directly into their own pocket. Well, again, we've drawn this sort of uh, connection. Let's say that a lot of political families are heavily invested in our weapons manufacturers. So when we gift $12 billion to somebody who's at war and say, buy our guns from us, that money just turns into profit margins uh, for the, the families that own or, or they're heavily invested in the weapons manufacturers. And so it is kind of like making sure that the industry you're invested in gets a ton of government money. And you go, oh, well, this is for the good. This is for better. This is righteous. I feel like it is a conflict of interest, though. All right, let's see. I don't know. Maybe there's a very good reason, though. Maybe we don't want Putin to win. Maybe that gives Putin too much power. Maybe it changes the world order if he wins. You know what I mean? We don't want that. We don't, we don't want it to seem like Putin can just go around and do what he wants. Putin and China and his allies. They make it look like we're fighting, but they invest in both sides like always. History repeats itself. All right, there we go. Darwin Morales, you didn't add my previous payment to, of 30 to my slab away. 40 more to my slab away. So if that's true, Darwin you would have a total of 70 to remove from your slab away. I'll take care of that for you. Okay, let's see, Darwin. So that would be easy to check too, by the way. Are you sure? It looks like you went from 110 to 81. And that would be the uh, 50 cent increase, by the way. So hold on, let me try this out. Yeah, so that's accurate. That's a minus $30 uh, change in your, your slab away. So now you go to 41.5. Yeah, it looks like we did subtract $30. So we can look this up and make sure we didn't mess anything up. Basically, we would just check and see if we did that. Um, you know, if you ordered $30 twice in a row, then that would, that would explain it. But if you didn't order $30 twice in a row to your slab away, then I didn't miss it. Let's see. EMP is coming, new coming, and the real Great Depression coming. Get ready. Nothing will stop me from collecting my Pokebonds. Here we are. Darwin Morales. Three Chili Billies. 30 Slab Away. 40 for Slab Away. Yeah, we took care of it. I actually did not mess it up because you order 30 then 40. And if you go down to uh, Darwin Morales, uh, 150 to 110 is the 40. And then 150 to 81 is the 30. So we actually did that correctly. Hope that helps. He also wants one Astral. You ready? With Pokemon, we set for life, says Juna. That's right! Psyduck. That's all a Psyop. He's real off-center. Okay, that's for Mr. Darwin. Where are we going to find you, Darwin? Give me Pokies or give me death. Did you add Attack on Titan final on the menu? Oh my god, I was supposed to do that tonight. I was supposed to do that. You want me to add that? We can add that tonight, okay, while we're live. I forgot about it. I was so busy today. Is this it? That's David Morris. Here it is. Darwin Morales. Whew. Good guys, bad guys, made up words. Arms dealer selling to the good guys and the bad. Russia is closer to the West Coast, though. Okay, we've updated your bag for you. Are you going to grade your error, Tops, Ash, and Pikachu? Yeah, of course. It'll be a fun little card. Maybe it'll sell for a little extra. I don't think it'll sell for a whole lot more. Here's Brooks Bellinger. I mean, unless he gets like a perfect or something like that, which I don't think that's possible either. Mr. was busy moving his body unseat of his neck. All right, here goes. So, Brooks, you got a special Genesect promo. From XY Era, Pokédex, Grim Snarl, Jirachi, also from the XY promo, Sinya's Resolve, and Chowing's Out. All right, that's a cool little pack. Mr. Brooks. When are you planning on opening the Plasma? Uh, as soon as somebody buys the last spot in the Battle Booster, I think they already did, but we have to receive that first, okay? Okay. 
I like the XY promos. Those are pretty cool. This guy says Chowing's out. I just wanted Chowing's out. Come on, Mom. Okay, Pokey Bread is done. So it says there's 22 people in the queue now. That's a lot more than what we had earlier. One spot in the ancient origin for Pablo, Gregory Pablo. You got it, man. Ancient origin hits that sweet spot of having all the best pulls. Price is very uh, doable, you know, and um, a lot of potential. So people love that box. One of, the, one of the best selling XY boxes is Ancient Origins. Just sells really quickly. All right. I don't really have room for these for now. Set these to the side. So one Fates Collide as well. Let's get that Fates Collide. Oh, that's Roaring Sky. That is also Roaring Sky. Here we are. Fates Collide. Did you guys break Plasma Blast already? Not yet. There's still a chance to get in it. We're, we're breaking it in this stream, okay? So if you're not in it, you better consider taking a spot if you want. You don't have to, of course. You can just sit back and watch it. It uh, it didn't sell well. Plasma Blast was not a good seller. I think it had a lot to do with the fact that people just don't know what's in it. Okay, Gregory Pablo with the G. Do, 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 do. Someone got a TCCG2 on a Japanese gear dose from the Pokey Bros. <laughs> Here we are. Wait, that wasn't from the Pokey Bros. Wasn't that a gift? That was a gift from uh, John. That's what I was told, right? Plasma Blast My Diglet. Here's a perfect Zapdos. I will say, when it comes to modern cards, if you're going to collect them, perfect cards are probably gonna do well over time in my opinion i mean they're just they're in this new bracket of rarity here's a pristine blastoise all right coeli he says can i get two v max climax you sure can what's up coeli finally got to the night stream Oi! we're on the night watch is the line long it's a little bit long 22 are in the line right now, which is a bit longer than usual, but it shouldn't take too long. How long am I streaming tonight? Uh, I, I stop at 3 a.m. Central Time, same time every night. That's because I got to go sleepies. Really don't get enough sleep in the weekdays. Okay, you've got this Hollow Charizard and Duraludon. Honestly, I think the Charizard is more valuable. There we go. Mm -hmm. I'm stronger. I'm, I'm smarter. Stronger. I'm better. I'm better. I am better. Donate hollows. You got it, man. That sound effect goes off whenever you guys hit that subscribe button. All right. Put this over here. Super Dan. Five Lost Origins. You got it, Super Dan. One, two, three, four, five. Whoop. That was me, says C-Money. Nice, man. Appreciate it. All right. Super Dan. He said, give me an alternative art, Giratina. I resubscribe every day just to hear that. I don't think that works. We need more likes. <laughs> 200 likes and we'll start a giveaway. Here's Radiant Hisuian Sneasler. Ooh, doing the Slav Squat. Here's Torkoal and Thornton. By the way, we can't hit 200 likes in the last, like, 10 minutes of the stream. That won't set off the giveaway. That's the rule, okay? Here's Gastrodon. Vile Plume. Trevenant Mawile. Sweet. That's for Super Dan. He says, but at 11 minutes? Yeah, okay, we'll do it at 11 minutes, but, but 10 minutes... You have waited too long to hit the subscribe I'm button. I'm smarter. I'm better. better. I am better. <laughs> it's such an excellent sound effect. I really, it encourages me to get more sound effects like that one. All right, here we are. There we go. How many spots left for Plasma Blast Break? 
Uh, it's being opened no matter what. Let me show you. It didn't sell that well. Five spots are sold. Now, when this ends, two more spots will come out. So six and seven will sell. And you're allowed to pick up a spot if you want. There's $93 per spot. I'm just guessing people really don't know what's in it. That's my guess. People looked at it and they go, I don't know. We got Roberto Bahena. Let me slap away that Venusaur. If gone, let me get a refund. Here you go, Roberto. So this is for Roberto Bahena. All right, cool. Oops. What's the longest you've ha held a bag for? All bags are taken away at the one-year mark. You're not allowed to hold a bag longer than one year. Um, and so I recommend not waiting that long. At the six-month mark, if your bag is six months old, I'll start removing all your hollows from the bag to collapse the bag size. So really, you ought to get it off the table. Um, if a tornado destroyed my house and took all your cards with it, I'm not. Re I'm not recovering your cards for you. They're just you're sharing in the loss if a if a tornado hits my house. So those are all things to think about. And um, but you know you can store your bag up here for about a year, and um, it's just not recommended. <laughs> I don't recommend it. It's risky to do that. There we are, Roberto Bahena. Wait, he didn't say shipping. What am I doing? <laughs> He said he wanted to put it in the slab away. I'm going to ship you the slab right away. So, here we are. We're going to put you right here. September 28, Roberto Bahena, Venazor, 1,900. There we go. So, we've taken $100 off for you. Sweet. And now we're ready for the next order. Thomas Yonan, three poker cards for Thomas Yonan. All right, Thomas, don't you have tornado insurance? Yeah, I do, but it doesn't really help with how many cards we have here. It's just too much. Here we are. The way insurance works, they want to know exactly what you got. They want to know how much it's worth. They want it to be documented. And then if it's lost, they're probably going to be like, we don't cover that. And I don't document it all, and I don't do that with them. So... Every day, my inventory on the table changes, and it's probably not going to be covered by insurance. Here we are. Don't count on the insurance company. Nice, man. Look at that. Cool. Thank you for being a good lad. All right. You got it, man. Thomas Yonan. A good lad? Yay! Insurance is really bad for collectibles. They fight it tooth and nail. Thomas Smart. They don't want to cover collectibles. I want to see my cards fly in a tornado. You don't have poking insurance. I have. I have insurance. I'm just saying. I don't think. It, I don't think all these cards are going to be covered if a tornado hits this room and sprays water and leaves everywhere. You know, I can't go to the insurance company and say, uh, "I think it's a million dollars of cards." You know, they're they're going to be like, "No." Nah. All right. So William says, "Grade the best three from top series packs." Okay, give me a moment. Grade the best three. Uh, oh. Did you have three grades? I see you sent me a penny. Oh, was that part of the original order? I can't remember. Hold on. Put the good ones under cement floor. Yeah, I agree. Oh, here it is. I see you paid later. Okay, we got it figured out. No problem. Mm -hmm. I wonder how it will work if everyone did chargebacks. Here we are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Doug Trio, Professor Oak. Just because you open a chargeback doesn't mean you win, by the way. Only temporary mod. I don't recommend chargebacks because I hear... They can actually shut your account down if you're running chargebacks on stuff that you bought because it looks a lot like theft. Starts to look a little bit like theft. And um, you can hire a lawyer to do chargebacks, to fight chargebacks. Here we go. You got a Squirtle. Deserve permanent mod. But if our card got destroyed, 
yeah, but you understand that you can't keep your card here and that I'm not protecting it, right? So if you are listening to me tell you that I'm not going to, you know, it's your risk to have your cards on my table, I'm not going to I'm not going to cover the card if there's a natural disaster. Then the disaster occurs and you say, oh, well, I'll run a, a chargeback. It's still theft because you knew that there was a risk and you decided not to spend $8 to ship, uh, ship. So it's up to you to ship. You're taking that risk. You understand that's the risk. And then going, oh, well, the risk happened and I just didn't feel like shipping. So now it's your problem. I'm going to charge back. No, you're going to get sued is what's going to happen. So you're all hearing me say it. All right, can we pay you for insurance? That's an interesting concept. Maybe. All right, here we are. Let's see. Oh, we put it in sleep first. Sob to me, Mr. Suicune poker card. Sob away for this Suicune. Is that what you just said? I expect armor. Here we go. It's a great card, right? The Suicune. Really beautiful. I expect armored guards. Well, you know, we want to move to a really large home, a home that's literally just like square foot wise. It's just really large so that we can take uh, the lowest level in the home, fill it up with a bunch of cool vaults. And if you guys want to store a card in the vault, that could be a way for you guys to trade within this community, but also to keep your card safe. You know, that could be real useful if you live in a place with a lot of uh, natural disasters like wildfires, hurricanes. Um, and we could just have a really good vault system where I live. Here we are. Mr. Got Glocks in every corner of his house. Mr. Can ship the bags to my house so I can protect them. Here we are. All right. Let's buy Mr. a new home. I'd like to buy a new home. My wife would like that a lot. I'd like to buy a new home in the UK. But I think it would be smarter to buy a new home out here first. So... Buying a house in the UK might be something I do far in the future. But man, if I had a lot of money saved up for that right now, I mean, considering how far or how good the dollar is versus the pound, now is such an exceptionally good time to buy a house. If you're living in the United States and you got a bunch of US dollars, Mr. I'm back after two years. What? Welcome back, man. The channel keeps growing. Did you see how big we are now? We broke 50,000. Now we're on our way to 100,000. Ooh. All right, William. Very nice. Good luck on your grades. <laughs> so, Joseph Ortiz says, can I get the last spot in the battle boosty? Here it is. Joseph Ortiz got the last spot. I used to be a mod before 20K. Really? Who? What was your mod name? It wasn't Quantum Kings. Had to have been something else. Joseph Ortiz. That or I just forgot. Oh, what was the name of the account? Okay, you ready? Watch the inflation video today. Did you like it? Was it nice? Prove it or it didn't happen, Quantum. No, it was solo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You're saying you're, the name of the old account was solo? I don't recognize that. My, it must have been a real long time ago with the dog profile pic. Huh. Oh, I don't need to write anything down. So these are the chase cards that you guys are trying to get. Yes, very informative. Thanks, man. I'm glad you. I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> solo, huh? You know, I think I do vaguely remember that. Solo. Yeah, I do remember Solo. But it's just a really old one, man. That was a long time ago. I don't remember much about you. Under 20k, we're gonna reach 100k, man. Yeah, Solo. So many names come and go. Whew. How'd you lose the account? All right, Coeli says eight. We'll let you decide, Coeli. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. So here goes Kyle Sexton. No. Kyle Shao, though. Oh, Kyle Shao. Getting a military advantage over Russia. Oh, really? So that's Kyle Shao. Sansani right afterwards. 
Wow, Kyle and Sansan. -san. I feel like Sansan -san gets so lucky. I don't understand. You used to talk about my dad being the police officer in D.C. What? You used to talk about my dad being the police officer in D.C. I don't remember this. Here we are. I heard about that, Mr. Suke. Sasuke. Pretending to be good neighbor to the world. Okay, so... This is over. You guys can tell me what you want the next battle booster to be. Let me know what you want the next battle booster to be all about. Okay, now we've got Kyle Shao. Kyle Shao. And Son Son A. Off by one again. I'm sorry. Uh, did anyone else buy a spot in here? Do I need to know about that? Sneaker, Bunko, Slab. <laughs> you want a box of Sneaker, Bunko? That actually probably would be popular. <laughs> How many, uh, is it 16 by 14? Let me see about that. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. I don't know. Hey, mister, did you see the satellite we crashed? I saw that. Thomas, the promise is I bought a spot. I bought a spot. Okay, so guys... Uh, we're just going to wait for those spots to show up in the purchase order, and then we will be ready to open the Plasma Blast. Oh, and in the meantime, we do need to pick out the next battle boosty. I just got double unskippable ads. Oh my god, that's terrible, man. Ooh. <laughs> Let me think about what's most popular right now. What is most popular right now? I'd order Lost Origins. I'd argue Lost Origins is most popular. So the next one's going to be a box of Lost Origins. You guys are going nuts on Lost Origins. Okay, and that's the next round of Battle Booster is a box of Lost Origins. So your odds are now one in eleven. Okay, thank you, Joseph Ortiz. Eileen says one evolving skies. Are you gonna invest in those Disney cards when they release next year? Am I going to invest in them? No. No, I will not. Will I make them available? Probably. How many Giratinas have you pulled? Like a million. All right, that was for Eileen. Are we opening Plasma now? Not yet. Miss, a few people said they also bought a spot in it, so we're waiting for those to arrive. I bought two for 110. Thanks. Jeff Leon, three Fantasias. And you can, Jeff Leon. <laughs> Someone got me on a one-pack snipe. Oops. Uh -huh. Ooh, oh, no, not the yards. Oh, man, I should have drank some caffeine. All right, here we are. <laughs> it's because I go to bed at 3 a.m., right? So I go to bed the moment the stream is over. All right. <laughs> what time is it right now? 1241. What's the weirdest card set that you have? Probably Sneaker Bunko. Yeah, Sneaker Bunko's very lewd. Yo! Did I miss a big pull? You missed it! <laughs> A lot of loot cards in that one. Your last video was pretty good. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. You know, I could make more videos like that, but I don't have time because I'm always live. Jeff Leon. Jeff, you got your own box now. And let me start a new bag. Hey, it's the booby set, really? Yep, Sneaker Bunko is the booby set. Fantasia Bunko, too. 
Oops. This dude wants 20k for a case of Phantom Forces. Crazy. That's a lot. <laughs> 20k? Okay, we have Taven Richardson, one Plasma Blast. Okay, Taven Richardson. Hopefully I made the right choice. <laughs> you will say you did if you get a hot pull, and you will be bummed if you get a cold pull, Taven. You know that. That's how it works. You strayed away from Pokemon and into sports. May God rest your soul. Back to a box, mister? I got there fast. I know, you're back to a box. Mario Quintana says he'll take a sneaker bunko. Okay, Mr. Mario. It's a me, Mario. Wahoo. I was thinking more like 11 or 12K. Well, you know, he's probably trying to sell the mystique of it being a sealed case. Brought 20K, just buy the chase card. That's a very fair point. Just buy the chase card at that point. Not much else to chase after. Yo! Them some boobies. That's for our friend, Mr. Mario. It's a me, Mario Wahoo. All right, so Mario Quintana. Bleh. Here we are. All right, lots of boobies. Thomas Royal, Plasma Blast opening. Okay, Thomas Royal. Thomas Royale. I like how sport cards, if a player does well, the card goes up. Pokemon, no, do that. That's true. Yeah, Pokemon's different from that. They let the devil inside of them if they went to sports. Oh, my God, dude. Okay, so Thomas wants a few things. Thomas Royal, what's up, Thomas? He says he'll take one of these Top Series 1 packs. Ah, the beautiful Top Series 1 packs. He says he'll take two Merlin Sticker Series 1. <laughs> these are nice because these are actually vintage as well. I sent for the Prunjo Slab. We have some sport cards on our, uh, on our stream as well. We got some basketball cards, but really just one set. Okay, you got hollow Pokeball. Ew. Is it 93 or 99 for a pack? Uh, it's 93. 99 was going to be for if the second half of the box was reached, but it doesn't matter now. Is that black and white drag is exalted pack heavy? Uh, no, I've not weighed it, so you should assume that is un unweighed. That is an unweighed pack. All right, let's see. There we are. Is it Donruss? Ooh. Look at that Caterpie. So, Thomas, let's see what you got. Neep. You got something brown. What could that be? Could be Cubone. Cubone would be a nice pull. <laughs> oh, you got Diglett. That's so funny because um, we had that earlier order that had Doug Trio, right? Is that right? Look at that. That is actually really funny. Dude, I'm going to buy this Diglett from you and get it graded. Okay. Got a little Vulpix on the back, huh? So it's come oh, there it goes. Comes right unstuck. Ew. Freaking Diglett, dude. Loving it. Okay, we're also on the lookout for any non-hollow uh, cards. Oh, like this one right here, Pikachu. Oh, that one was sticking a little harder, unfortunately. I don't know if that affected the card. Sometimes it doesn't. Might be able to sneak it past the graders. I don't know. They might go, eh, it's just a little bit sticky. Oh, no! Here, let me lift that up. Mr. Getting excited for Diglett. Diglett's a very funny Pokemon, obviously. There's Growlithe and Abra. Okay, very good. Diglett doesn't have a nose. It's a mouth with one tooth. He's sized pretty average for sure. 
This is an average size Diglett, but that's okay. He looks very... He looks like a high quality average size Diglett. You know what I mean? Very solid. So, Thomas Royale. I'd offer to sign Diglett cards. Thomas Smart. Here we are. <laughs> Currently in the Pokemon Go game, you can catch Diglett with a hat, so it looks more like a peepee. -pee. Mister, my sock is a little sticky. Sign my Diglett. Then I can say that I signed your Diglett. <laughs> okay, cool. So Thomas will be opening up that Plasma Blast in just a minute, so stick around. Cody Alejandro says, can I get one spot in the Ancient Origins box break? That's right, so Ancient Origins box break is available now, guys. Cody. Al oop, Alejandro. There we go. Three Weiss Adventure Time and two Lost Origins and one Astro Radius. So here's two Lost Origins. Here's one Astro Radiance. And now three Weiss, huh? Those are expensive. Did you guys see that the uh, Weiss Cardboards booster boxes are for sale in Discord? I stopped selling them in the live stream because people kept buying Cardboards Adventure Time, but then I'd open Weiss, not realizing that they needed Cardboards because they wouldn't specify Cardboards, and then I'd lose a ton of money in Sometimes I almost wonder if they did it on purpose or something, but uh, maybe probably not. But yeah, I was just bleeding money from that. It was killing me, man. They would never specify. All right. Here we are. Adventure Time Card Wars. So I'm, I'm not allowed to sell the other set anymore because I'm not going to have that problem anymore. <laughs> Adventure Time's been a very consistent seller. <laughs> Ooh. They aren't malicious with the Adventure Time. You're probably right. You're probably right. You say that. You know, today I was uh, working on chargebacks today. So you, you probably think everyone's nice, but I don't know. It's not everyone. <laughs> not everyone is nice. All right, Cody. Did you figure out the Weiss issue? People watching the sales to get signed cards. Uh, not really. There's no, there's no simple solution to it. Besides that, I kind of realized, I think it's harder than you think to always know when it's hot or not. Oh, Lady Rainicorn. Yuki. Who charged back? Well, I won't say who, but, you know, I deal with chargebacks and... It always makes me less trusting. <laughs> a little less trusting afterwards. I'm like, oh my god, dude. All right, there we go. Oh my god, I love. Lumpy Space Princess is the best character. Mr. Open, a little over 100 Astral today and not one single Sexy Misty. Oh, man. Chargebacks was a bunch of new people. So these were a special kind of chargeback that I didn't notice because they're not registered as PayPal disputes. Uh, I guess they're a certain type of uh, bank transaction that can be canceled. And it's not e-checks, it's something else. So I was, uh, I, I caught on to that and I was like, what the heck? So a couple people had done that and I was like, oh my God. All right, here we go. We got Growlithe. My daddy owns PayPal, so watch what you say. <laughs> Here's Aerodactyl. Okay. And a Wurmple. The Worm? He's so cute. Chargebacks. Sounds like a beta male problem. After a long day, has your girl ever stepped on your back to relieve the pressure? My wife and I will massage each other almost every day. We love massages. We both do. If you are single, you are missing out on life. Go get a girlfriend right away. Or a boyfriend, I don't care. But you're missing out on being rubbed. And that is some good stuff. I swear to God, I feel like I'm going to live longer. Just because when you get a good massage, you feel like a year has been added back to your health. Does Diggly evolve into Wurmple? Here we are. Sometimes you go out to the club and your Diggly evolves into a Dugtrio. 
There we go. Whoa, we got a big order from Charles Bielonski for 10 English boxes. Uh, but hold on, Charles. Uh, I don't think that the price on that is right. So the price of 10 English boxes would have been... You know what, Charles? I don't care. We'll do it for you. Who cares? Yeah, I, you're just a little bit short, but it's it's for you. It's for Charles. Got to take care of Charles, man. Now, I got to say, these won't arrive super fast. Charles, you got two addresses. Is there one I'm supposed to use? I can see you got a P.O. Box address. Wait, we can get our money back if we charge back? Mr. He said Discord says 58. No, Discord actually says 60. Maybe you're in... Dis Wait, is there a price for bulk cards in the other Discord? No, there's not a price in the other Discord. So the price went up slightly because the demand for it is very high. So the demand for the English bulk boxes, um, the last one sold for 65 on on eBay. So we're doing 60 on Discord and the demand for it, I sold out like in one day I sold out. So, but those are taken care of already. And I'm going to go ahead and find your PayPal over here. Did he say, he didn't specify which address he prefers, did he? He didn't say the PO box, did he? Should I show you guys my sweet ring on Discord? I got it handmade in New York City. My bad, I thought it was 58. It's gonna cost you, Charles. I wanna whistle this music so badly, but I don't wanna be annoying. Because I would just whistle the whole night if I if I was allowed to. Dang, dude, man, that PayPal fee. So I'm seeing a, an address that begins with seven. Oops, I'm getting a little message on Discord right now. Okay, thank you, Charles. Now, you'll have to bear with me, guys. We're going to hit this button ten times. One... Two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. So you've got ten of them, um, but these will not arrive right away. It takes a while to build up this much bulk, so you'll be getting them over the next two weeks. Mifter, says Charles. He works for CGC, says Cornwalls. Boy, if I knew you were going to make such a large order, I would have um, not sold any on eBay. <laughs> Zach Capels. I have a bag. Could I get one Pokemon action flips? For Zach, anything. All right, Zach Capels. Here we are. Sleep. Mm -hmm. Fees on eBay, kill it. Here we are. Well, you know, they pay 65 on eBay, so it's actually pretty close to what you just uh, did with 58. Look at that Cubo and Marowak. So it's not really a, different, a difference. Um, I just would have saved the bulk for you. That's all I'm saying. Machoke! Machoke me, Daddy. And Electrode Voltorb. I don't want to hear any smack talk on Electrode Voltorb. They're just Pokeballs. It's bad design. Shut up. I won't, I won't hear any Voltorb slander. Whoa, we got 100 likes. You know what happens at 100 likes, right? I start to add new slaps to the table, don't I? 
All right, we got three nines, uh, eights and nines this time. So these are all lovely vintage slabs. Machoke ma me papi. Here we are. Mm -hmm. We're getting close to the plasma blast booster box break. Don't go if you're in there, okay? Don't go to bed. That's why you need your own website, mister. No fees. Well, websites do actually uh, create fees. You know, I'm, I'm really, really interested in selling a lot more product from Discord. So, uh, you know, I've just been thinking about it a lot. And it's like, damn, dude, I should have this stuff up all the time. I'm going to get more expensive items for you guys listed up on Discord. So if you haven't joined our Discord, you really should. We've got two servers, but it's really um, my main server is the one that has all the stuff for sale in it. And uh, it's kind of like a virtual store. It's kind of a weird kind of website thing, isn't it? But, man, Discords are powerful, aren't they? What a powerful tool, man. Okay, beautiful. Got into Pokemon again because of you. Oh, great to hear that, man. Pokemon's awesome. I think of card collecting like a video game almost. Card collecting is a video game to me. Very relaxing one. You know, it's like in a video game, you work really hard to get the, the prize in the video game, right? So I just treat the next card that I'm after as that prize. So I'm going, all right, I'm trying to get the next prize. This is a surprisingly affordable $100. I think I'm going to go buy all the PSA 8s now. <laughs> okay, Lapras. Lapras. We need a little birdie to play. Little birdie. Ah, here we are. So, Fossil is... Fossil... Excuse me, Lapras is 250. Now, here's an interesting note. Lapras 10 jumps up to like $4,000, I'm pretty sure. So that's really expensive as a 10. Here's a beautiful Espeon. This is a very beautiful card, and I suspect it would sell pretty fast. We're going to set ours at 140. I'll do 85 for the Espeon. Well, that's a little bit different from what I was hoping for. I'll leave him up there at 140. All right, who's next? Mr. Miguel Reyes. Finish paying my Magikarp and one Pokebra. Oh, Mr. Miguel. Welcome, Miguel. What are you going to pull? So you got Celebi, Flapple. Imakuni, uh, Golden Flaffy, Flying Pikachu, Giovanni Sneedoran, and a Veltal. Wow, these are some random packs, dude. I think I was just throwing these together like haphazardly. I was just like, throw it all in. Magikarp Slab. Let me go find that, Mr. Miguel. You guys want to see all of the new slab aways? Take a look at this stack over here. See that stack? Those are all the slab aways that people have uh, recently paid for. So I think Miguel is probably going to be in there. <laughs> Alright, but he's not in the first half of the stack. Lower half of the stack, then. <laughs> Wait, I don't see him. Did I search the wrong box earlier? No? Hmm. Wilder, Cardano, Stacy, Leo, Aaron, Mark Martinez, Mike Size, Zachary Mahaney, Michael Kislaskow. Hmm. I wonder if it already got moved to the shipping area. Mr. You, I like Papa. Hey! Danny O'Sam. 
Has my second order come through? Uh, I don't think so. Oh, here it is. It had two names on it, so it tricked me the first time. You know what? I'll get a new sleeve so that doesn't trick John either. Don't want any mistakes on such an expensive slab. We are at the end of September. Can you believe it, guys? Holy moly. <laughs> I love this program music. Ooh, slabs. The giant slab away pile trying to slide apart. Here we go. Mr. Reed Darth Twizzy comment. Mr. I got someone slab accidentally sent to me. What should I do? Wow, guys. Man, this is just happening way too much. Mr. M Mr. Darth Twizzy, thank you so much for reaching out to me. Could you contact me on Discord? Have we spoken before on Discord? What you got to do is you got to work with me to get it mailed back, and I'll get you some reward money for that, okay? I want to I want to work with you. You're doing the right thing. So first of all, that's really nice of you to be doing the right thing. And then we're going to get it fixed because the person whose slab that is, they probably want it back. I'd be sad if I didn't get my slab. All right, here we are. Is my boy John messing up again? Here we are. Okay. So, Miguel, let me grab your bag. <laughs> Is Dark Twizzy still there? Um, guys, did I miss it? John fired. Last draw. <laughs> Where's Merrick? We just can't have that anymore. We can't have any more missed bags. Miss Slabs. You're... Hey, mister, you need somebody to control the shipping. Buy gold before it goes up, too. I have a bag, Mr. Miguel. Okay, give me a minute. Oh, right, so that was the large MI box. Sorry, I'm paying attention to the chat like crazy right now because I'm looking for Darth Twizzy to respond. Okay. Michael Special. Any cheap Squirtle or Blastoise slabs? If only I had those. <laughs> okay, see you're not in box number one. Okay, mister, I sent you a message. Perfect, thank you so much. Ah, here we are, Mr. Miguel. Lovely. It's just very important that we always get the slab sent to the right person. I can, under I can understand it happening like once, maybe a every hundred shipments. All right, let's see. Oh, actually, Mr. Darth Twizzy, I don't have a message from you on um, Discord. You sure you got the right me? Maybe you sent me a message a different way. So uh, that's all right. We'll get it sorted out. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next order. Kyle Sexton, last battle boosty, if filled, Lost Origins. You got him in. Oh, you're sending a message. <laughs> got it, man. Yeah, let me know what uh, accidentally got sent, because then I can know who's going to be upset that they're missing their stuff. They're going to be like, hey, I didn't get my stuff. I got random first edition Shadow Lassard. He messaged evil TCC. Here's Licky Licky. Here's Drapion. Okay, there's Drapion. And Arcanine. Boop. All right, Kyle Sexton. Man, there's like a fruit fly in here now. How did the fruit fly know to come in here? How do we get rid of our fruit flies? There's too many of them. All right, Kyle, nothing crazy. I'm sorry. You got Drapion. Yay, Drapion! Oh, my God, he's hanging out with me. Evil TCC is a communist. <laughs> Arr, let's communist. Raymond says, I'll get into the plasma blast opening as well. All right, guys, we're getting very close now. Raymond. Or tis. There you go, Raymond. Oh, nice. This is going to be a lot more fun. Coeli says, can I get a battle boosty? Coeli, I can write you down for one. It's a different battle boosty, though, for a box of Lost Origin. Gross, dude. 
gross. Dude, why are those flies so nasty, man? Last booster I opened was Matchless Fighters. I might have to turn the fan on high or something. William Schaffen, bulk grade times three. I have a bag. We did that. Trilifornia OG, three vivid voltage. Ooh, vivid voltage order. Ew, vivid voltage. Oh, we need one more. So Trilifornia OG wants three vivid, one for the cherry and one for the burner. Nice. Here we go. So this is 293 and 154. They work backwards. This one counts down, this one counts up. Isn't that confusing? <laughs> Golbat's getting closer, by the way, guys. Donate to that Golbat if you want to see me drill a hole through it. Okay, Trilifornia. Mr. Gill, dish with some apple cider vinegar and some dish soap. It'll get your flies taken care of. Yeah, we got some fly traps open right now. This has been catching the flies. Sleep. Drill a hole. We are. We're going to destroy that dark gold bat. That's, that's the destroy slab. That's a PSA 10 holographic first edition dark gold bat. I send pics. Oh, thank you. Here we are. Steelix. All right. Whew. Let me just see. I appreciate you bringing that to my attention. Oh, hold on. I just want to see how much it costs real fast. It's not a particularly expensive slab, huh? Still, um, I think it would be best to return it. It should go to the original owner. I, I don't. I like him a lot, so I want to make sure he gets that slab. So, Darth Twidge, I'll give you some instructions. It says thirty-seven. Mm -hmm. Thirty-seven. Yeah, we're still gonna return ship it. Well, gosh, you know what? I'm just gonna give them store credit. You you keep it, okay? You can make a donation if you'd like, like five bucks or something. But I'm gonna I'm gonna give him store credit for it. All right. So we're gonna give the, because it's gonna save us money not to bother shipping it. Shipping cards cost money, right? So I'm not gonna bother you for the five bucks. And I really appreciate you reaching out and making it right. Um, if anyone else received cards that belongs to anyone else, all you got to do is reach out. There'll be reward money to fix it. And you can go to sleep knowing you did the right thing as well. So you get two things from that. By the way, where's my little box of... Uh, oh, here it is. So in the meantime, uh, you can just hold on to that. Here we go. All right, cool. So that's all taken care of. Sorry about that, guys. And now, Trilifornia. Here's Trumbeak and Ampharos. Ooh. Here's Mudray. Shoop. All right. Trilifornia, I don't know if you've got a bag, do you? Let's see if you do. Should be easy to find. Hey, Ash, what's wrong with you? What? <laughs> I feel like Trilifornia does have a bag. Here it is. Trilifornia says, I have a bag. All right, excellent. Jose Balderrama. 24 Dragon Ball Super Dawn of Z Legends. That's a whole box. He said, wait a second, that box is hot. 
Bro, I'm here is morning. Oh, in here is morning. All right, Jose Balderrama, it's your turn. Stick around, guys. We're going to open that Plasma Blast real soon. Can I send for shipping for $8? And you just send me a return level with my two slabs. We could probably do that if you'd like to do that. Yeah, I don't mind. That sounds that sounds like a smart idea. Here's a rush attack for Gaida. All right. Let's see what we got. David, no! Mr. Trifling, he must be from Dirty Ducks. I like Lumpia. I'm going to have that, and I'm going to have some LeChonk. Sylveon Kiss Discord Emoji. My wife doesn't even make Lumpia for me. She doesn't make Lumpia. She doesn't make Pansit. She doesn't make Chicken Adobo. It ain't right, guys. Just got here. People said this a thousand times, but great job on the prediction video. Very interesting. You liked it? I'm glad you liked it. I'm fishing off your Lechonk. The real name is something else. It's, um... I know there's a Filipino dish. I know it because my grandma had it for her birthday. It's where they cook a whole pig. And it's like a celebration kind of meal that they have. So it's a whole cooked pig. And I forgot what it was called. It's another Filipino dish. You like tamales, mister? I love tamales. I'm a foodie. I love all food. Maybe too much. Lechen? Might be called lechen. All right. This is for Jose Balderrama. Lechonk. We've got Son Goku Gogita. Yeah, I was a little kid. And we went to my grandma's birthday. And she takes me over to this giant pig. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Just sitting on a... Oh, there's a special rare Son Goku. Another world of blitz. And she starts cutting me off a chunk of its body. And I'm like, I don't think I want to eat it, Grandma. Because I was like grossed out by the fact that it was a whole pig. Now I'm older and smarter. I'm, I'd probably eat the crap out of it. I'd be like, oh my God, give me all the pig. I'd be like, give me the pig's nose. I want to get intimate with this pig. Whoop. All right. Here's Bulma. Bulma is about to give me a bulgy wulgy. You're weird, Grandma. My Dominican grandkids, the exact same thing. Yeah, it's just like you see the whole animal and you're like, I don't know. The feeling when I was a kid was like, in my mind, it was kind of like, is this rotten? You know what I mean? It has this gone bad? Oh, we got special rare pan, inherited bloodline. Mr. said, I'm tired of this, Grandma. We should meet on Thanksgiving and I'll give you some tamales. Just give me some fresh batch of Pokemon cards. <laughs> Depends on which Pokemon cards because Pokemon cards get really expensive. I asked where the bacon's at when I ate legend. <laughs> Pigs are better than pups. Get real. What? <laughs> Here we are. Well, that's too damn bad. Found out bacon isn't real. <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Some Goku evolved defender. Gina. <laughs> Ginny. I think your name's pronounced Gine. I'm, I'm smarter. I'm better. I am better. <laughs> that sound effect goes off every time someone subscribes. We're proud to uh, break 51,000 subs. I really like this song this plane. You need queso barria tacos. There we go. You know what I really love to eat? Crab legs. Whew. No butter, no sauce, just pure crab leg. Oh my God. I get a little stiffy when I think about it. I could eat crab legs every single day. I would not get tired of it. 
Unfortunately, crab legs are like $28 a pound, so I cannot eat them. <laughs> oh, spat, uh, super rare. I could eat crab legs all day long. Does your shipping rise during the holidays? Yeah, I'd say demand does rise during the holidays. And then it falls uh, to its worst point right after tax season. So after people have spent all their tax returns, uh, demand for Pokemon cards like plummets. <laughs> no butter, no sauce. That's a war crime. Crab meat, crab body meat is also good. Oh yeah, of course. You make them sound delicious, but not much of a seafood eater. I can eat hundreds of dollars of crab legs like it's nothing. Cluster after cluster. Seafood in general, if you like it, you're automatically a male gay. I guess I'm pretty gay then. Because I love crab legs. Crab legs taste very different from something like sardines, though. You gotta you gotta enjoy different flavors. If if you're talking about seafood, shellfish are very different from like a from like a stinky fish, you know what I mean? Okay, here we are, Mr. Jose Balderrama. Is that right? That's you. All right, welcome back, man. Mr. favorite is fish sticks. That's right. I like to put them in and around my mouth. Same with the clams. I don't know how peeps eat those. You don't know how people eat clams? Dude, they're so freaking good. You eat them and they have a stinky flavor and the stinky flavor goes like right into the reward center in your brain and says, eat more of that. Fish and chips, you know, fried fish doesn't count. Fried fish is basically fried chicken, right? All you taste is the batter and the oil and the salt. You gotta have unfried fish, unfried, unseasoned to get that natural stinky flavor out. All right, woohoo. So we just refreshed. All right, cool, yes. We're doing it, guys. Plasma blast time. Plasma blast time. Who's still here? Hit that like button if you're ready for this. So we got 10 packs in the box sold. I don't think they sold very well because nobody knows what they're opening. So you guys are brave. I guess I'll open the rest. No, I'm just kidding. Good luck, everybody. <laughs> Tapatio Ramen the like button. How much for one? Uh, $93. I want to buy one. Send in right now, okay? Because we're starting. You'll be spot number 11 if you do. All right, set that to the side. All right, there we are. I'm selling my Pokemon collection. I'm very interested in buying it. All you got to do is contact me on Discord or Instagram and send me some pictures and explain the price and how you arrived at the price. All right, Joseph Ortiz. I'm always buying collections. In the name of the father and the son and the, <laughs> the padre and the... <laughs> All right, you ready? Joseph Ortiz. Ceviche? What? Where is your par PayPal? What? All right. Sounds like you're pretty new. You ready? Oh, my God. Already something pulled. Carablast, Remoraid, Ducklet, Surskit. Oh, so cool, man. That's a reverse hollow, guys. That is a reverse hollow in this set. How cool is that? All right. That's for Joseph Ortiz. I'm telling you guys, I'm trying to help you out with some good pulls here, some good sets. Great, that it's all blue. So this is a plasma blast reverse hollow relicanth. How cool is that? It looks like it's a full art hit because of the way that it's got blue border and blue on the inside. It looks very unusual. What year is this from? 2013, which makes it nine years old. That's for Joseph Ortiz. All right, Joseph, let's find his bag. So I got to call no more orders on Plasma Blast now. You can't order it anymore. 
It's no longer for sale at this point. You had to have bought in before the before the uh, box break started. All right. My name is Jerry. Very cool, man. Yeah, contact me and we'll, we'll I'll take a quick look at it. So we got to do that to be fair. We don't want any sniping going on. Joseph Ortiz. Manuel Bravo. The rest are yours. The rest are mine. We have to do that because we don't want box breaks to become like an exercise and being, oh, I'll buy in like next week after all the cold ones have been pulled. Here's Remoraid and Mask were rain. So this is very interesting. This is a non-hollow and it still has that blue border. It almost doesn't look like a real Pokemon card. Look at that. That's so weird. Wow. Okay. So that's his rare and he gets a reverse hollow Remoraid. Swoop. Iris, War Turtle, very nice. I like that War Turtle. Just got the notification now that you're streaming. Wow, all this time later, we've been live for like two hours. Okay. Team Magma, Blue Border. Manuel Bravo. Let's find his bag. Mm -hmm. Maximilian. Mario Lopez. That technically means you're sniping the packs. Don't care. Find God. <laughs> I'm the one selling it, and we're closing out the box because nobody would buy a spot. So let's say these 10 packs get open, and the box is still relatively hot. Maybe like one, one hit comes out. Uh, the box will not be for sale anymore because I don't want you to just sit on the sidelines and let these guys do the sweeping. Because let's say these guys pulled no hits in 10 packs, not even one hit. Then everyone's going to try and buy the rest of these packs. Well, we can't have it be that way because that's a bad incentive. It in that would incentivize you to sit out the box and, and then go after these packs if it is statistically favorable for you. So it's either way, it's not going to be allowed. I was trying to buy it before you started. I, I apologize, but now that we're in it, we got we to gotta call no more orders because we are in. So Kyle Sexton. Hey, mister, got our boat put away for the year up here in Canada. Oh, very cool, man. All right, you ready? So Kyle Sexton. Kyle's got Teddy Ursa, Porygon, Squirtle. Like that Squirtle. All right, what we got? Sock and Ma Champ. Okay, nothing crazy, Kyle. <laughs> Here's Suck. And here is Ma Champ. Actually, wait a second, the Ma Champs are rare. No, says Kyle. I know, Kyle. It's the risk you take. I don't. Florida is crazy. Shoop. Okay. Very interesting. I would be interested in a card like that Squirtle grading 10, even though it's a non-hollow, and seeing if it still sells for profit. You should run the box break from Saturday. Gold Boy probably put them in the background. Mr. wants to snip the box for himself. Listen, guys, I don't know what the next 10 packs are either. They could be hot, they could be cold. It doesn't matter. So you're not searching the box if you don't know what the last packs are by the time this starts. But either way, the rule is, is the, the remaining packs aren't going to be available. Because whether the box is hot or the box is cold, the problem is, is I don't want people, uh, you know, doing statistics on these pulls and then searching for the hit and the remaining packs. Sorry, there's like this bug in my face. I'm like blowing them away. Get out of here. Again, like if, if too many hits come out here, then everyone would avoid these. If no hits came out of here, everyone would demand these. And the goal was for you to buy into the box break. And if you didn't want to buy into the box break, well, you don't get to, you don't get to then benefit from searching the box yourselves. Zachary Mahaney. All right, Zachary. Alex, you just made Florida the most base set state. What? I'm messing, mister. Marius. Yay. Mr. Zachary, let's see what you got. Drifloon, very cute. Houndour, Ducklet, very cute. Snow Runt, Caitlin, oh man, there we go. Pulling a hollow Mesprit. 
Beautiful, man. Look at that, guys. So that's going to be a hip pull. You're getting one of the hollows. Look at that. I like the centering, too. Very solid centering on that. Inky. Here's the Caitlyn. Okay, so Caitlyn reverse hollow. Uh, this Glalie looks really cool. It's too bad he's so off-center. Yeah, that's neat, too. I mean, that's an uncommon, but, you know, if this was well-centered and it graded 10, somebody might want it just because they've never seen it before. That's it. All right. Zachary Mahaney. Mister, let me buy in and not the peasants. Mister, you should do pack breaks on the sealed ones. Uh, the, the, these will not be for sale at all. I apologize, guys. It can't be that way because it would incentivize you guys to sit out and see what these guys get. So you just won't be allowed to buy these. These will go away for a very long time until everyone's forgotten about them. So uh, that was for Zachary Mahaney. Zachary, that was a nice round, actually. Oh, we get you a new bag. So who gets them? No one. They just, well, they're mine. This remaining part of the box that isn't sold, this belongs to me. I get them. Reminds me of that old Doom Blob. I'm, I'm, I'm smarter. Smart. I'm better. I'm better. I, am better. I'm better. I don't know whether this is going to be two hits or no hits. So it's not like I've got some special third eye and I know what everyone's going to pull. You guys should have bought in earlier, but, but you guys don't. I don't know why. So this is a Zachary Mahaney. There we go. I know that you guys are capable of buying into here because I watch you guys buy everything else. So I know how much you guys spend. But you guys, uh, the Plasma Blast box was moving too slow and I said it's time to move on to Ancient Origin. So Ancient Origin's available. You should jump in there. All right, let's see. Mr. bought the rest of the box. So if someone snipes, he gets all cold. Yeah, exactly. So the risk is that I could get all cold ones. I don't know what people are about to pull here. Richard Campos. You ready, Richard? All right, Richard. Richard's going to pull the hot one right now. Oh, Richard. I don't spend anything, says Dennis. Dennis, you're the best. So here's Tynamo, Shelmet, Golet, Machop, Throw. Ooh. Oh, that's looking great, man. Whoa. Whoa, that's a hit. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. I When we were looking over the pulls in the set, I was pointing out the fact that it had a hollow salamance in it. That's going to be a hit pull. That's for Richard Campos. Wow, man. So beautiful. All right. Congratulations on that, because that card's looking so good. Okay. And now we've got Eel Ektros. Beautiful. He's a bit off center. You can see he's fat uh, top to bottom and left to right. Okay, and then you also have this Ursa Ring, Porygon 2, and Duosion. What? <laughs> that was pretty good, Richard. By the way, if you guys get a good pull, feel free to offer to sell it to me. I'm in the process of acquiring a lot of cards these days because I'm getting ready to do some submissions. Okay. Seeing a nice pull like that makes me go, I gotta get some cards. <laughs> Made it to the break. What's up, man? This fly, dude. I don't... To invest in your cards, I want to invest in you. You're the moneymaker. It just looks like Sword and Shield Horizontal Cap. Or Hola to me. He wanted that one. Oh, man, I saw it. That Salamance looks so good, man. Does it make you want it? All right, there we go. So, Richard Campos, Kyle Shao. Okay, Kyle, good luck. I think Kyle got this tonight, right? Yeah, Kyle just got this one tonight. Oh, wow, Lapras is a common in here. Look at that. How often do you stream? Every single day. Squirtle as well. Look at that. Okay, there's Shelmet Reverse Hollow. And Suicune. You know what that means, right? You know that means there's a hollow and a reverse hollow Suicune somewhere. See, I picked out the good box for you guys. I do my research before we order the box for the box break. This set has a Blastoise in it and a Suicune in it. So cool. Okay, there's the Squirtle. Yes, sir. Instead of Pringles can, use warm peanut butter bottle. What are you talking about, dude? All right, there we are. So, Suicune and... Pff, dude, there's this fly that's just flying right in front of my face. I wish I had, like, some sort of tiny vacuum that could suck it up. 
Okay. I'm just loving this uncommon slot, how it has like a really interesting card there. So that was for Kyle Shao, and I think it was decent, Kyle. I think the non-hollow Suicune is going to be worth something. Probably not as much as if it was hollow there, right? Kyle's going to be right over here. Kyle Sexton, Kyle Hazard, Kip F. Oh, Kyle. Hmm, he must be down here then. Here he is. Get an electric fly swatter. <laughs> that would be a good idea. This always happens, by the way. When we actually start opening the unknown box break, everyone gets hyped up and they go, oh my god, I want to open that. <laughs> they go, wait a second, this is actually pretty cool. Here's San San A. Okay, San San, oh, San San A. Not tearing as nice as I want it to. We got Sock, Drifloon, Bagon, Agzu, Dredagon. Woo! <laughs> Woo! What a nice box. Reverse Hollow Suicune is a, a serious pull here. Wow, Sansan always getting lucky. I don't know how he gets so lucky. Look at that. Beautiful, man. So if that can grade well for you, Sansan, that is going to be worth a lot of money. That's an Escavalier. He's not hollow, is he? Wow, man. All right, beautiful pull. Escavalier is a non-hollow. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got two over here. Are you still taking orders? I sure am. Mm. Got to be low pop on that. It's got to be. Got to be a low pop weekend over here. So that's for Mr. Sansan. And he's got a bag right over here. Mm -hmm. You need a better way to show people a cool set. You guys just need to go look up the set. If I'm offering Plasma Blast, just take two seconds and be like, what's in Plasma Blast? But by the way, I did show it off. So we sat down together and we went over it pull by pull. Okay, he says, I'm here, mister. I hope your wife is well. Did you want some more pictures of my cards on Instagram? Sure, yeah. I don't remember why. <laughs> Was something happened? Taven Richardson. All right, Taven. Taven, you're in a great spot. I mean, we're eight packs in. I haven't seen a full art or an EX. So one of these three guys has got to get a pull. There's no way. And these other guys did well. I mean, we got a Salamance and a Suicune out of here. So I think so far it's been very good. I don't see it in here, but let's see. Machop, Sox, Snover, Turtoga, and Azelf. Chitat, Turtoga. Hmm, okay. That's going to be rare, Azelf. Mr. Open the rest of the box on the stream for yourself. Uh, I don't know. There we go. No, I'm not going to do that. That will be too time-consuming. Here's Turtoga. They're going to pull the rare candy. All right. So that was for Taven Richardson. Yay! Okay, Taven with the TA. Ah, here we are. He can Plasma Blast again next year. He got the Crobat Plasma Storm pre-release. Okay, that's Thomas Royal is next. Mr. Thomas Royal! All right, Thomas Royal. Oh, I think Thomas Royal got something. Snow Runt, Snover, Lapras. We like Lapras. Oh, wait, he got Reverse Trigger. And Electros again. Two Electroses in this box. Crazy. Is this one better centered? It kind of looks like it. Okay, lovely. You got Electros. And Reversal Trigger. Eh, it's just a trainer. But I like the Electros. Someone donate Mr. a pack. Jesus. 
Verizian is the best pull. That's not the same card. Oh, you're saying it's a different one from the one we had earlier. Okay, that's cool, man. Once again, it features this neat looking shield and the blue border. How neat is that, guys? Elect Electros is not a chase. So that's Thomas Royal. TCG player says Iris is the most expensive. Donate. He already owns it. Here we are. All right. So, man, Raymond Ortiz has got to pull a hit here or else this box is loaded. You ready, Raymond? Wow, that Electros is so nostalgic. I definitely buy that card as a 10. Yeah, I mean, there was definitely people collecting the black and white era. So, Raymond Ortiz, you've got Golette, Snow Runt, Axew, Dragon. Oh, nice. Dragon again. And wow, no crazy hits, huh? That's a loaded box, a plasma blast. I just bought the Iris. Here we are. And here is the Dragon. Typically, if you buy somebody's already pulled cards, they're not going to be in good condition. You know what I mean? Open the rest for the stream. Mr. Smart sold enough spots to get his money back, and now has free packs. No, it's I didn't open up enough pack or sell enough packs to get my money back. First of all, and you don't know how much I paid on the box. But second of all, um, nobody else wanted to buy these spots, so I bought them. And again, the box belongs to me, and you guys had a set amount of time to buy in, and. Nobody wanted Plasma Blast. Now that the box is hot, you're like, well, I definitely want Plasma Blast now. All right, Raymond Ortiz. Yeah, nobody was buying it. The uh, At the beginning of this stream, there were only five packs sold after over a week, I believe. Do a YouTube video of it. We might do a YouTube video. That might make sense. He's been talking about the box for days. Sir, this is a casino. Here we are. I just wanted to buy in last minute. I love Plasma from the start. I was trying to promote for you. Yeah, I appreciate that, Kyle. All right. So it could have gone the other way. Both hot pulls could have come out here, and then I would have just been stuck with a bunch of cold packs. All right. Wow. Very interesting. Now, I know you guys are all blue balled. Uh, maybe I will make a video of myself opening this for YouTube. Keep your eyes out for that. I'm going to toss that up there. <laughs> the other option I have is wait a long period of time and then just sell them when everyone's forgotten about them and moved on. Which I, I feel like that might be the better move. Make you guys happy. I, I think you guys would be happier if I did it that way. Do a giveaway on one pack. Here's Blastoise. We do have a giveaway going, by the way, for a whole box of Lost Origin. Mm -hmm. All right. Open now. It's not that people don't want vintage, but it's too pricey for the risk. Here we are. I, ar I argue that if you're going after modern, then you have just as much risk, you know, but more likely than not, you're going to pull something that's valueless. So, like, he got some, there were some good reverse hollows, like the the Lapras was pretty crazy good. Not Lapras, uh, the uh, Suicune. And then the other pull, the Salamance, was really good, too. And the, the blue-bordered Electros you saw, that was really impressive. And not just that, but, like, there were some non-hollows, too. Squirtle, for example. Uh I feel like all those are gradable because of how old they are. <laughs> all right. Do you have a grading company? We have a grading company. That's right. I'll show you a slab from it. Oh, no. Do I not have it up here anymore? I used to have a slab up here. I must have taken it down. I bought it because B&W reminds me of my nephew. Hey, let's try a different uh, soundtrack real fast. This one been on repeat. <laughs> oh my god, this fly, dude. I'm gonna die over here. All right. Oof. That was really fun, guys. Let's keep the stream going. Let's get some cool cards open. <clears throat> so, Beatrice Moniz. Can I get one Pokey Bra? You got it, Beatrice. The next box break is available now, by the way, guys. And it is. Ancient Origins, real popular set. You see the big red quads on the front? That should give you, that should give you a hint. All right. So now we got, ooh, Raichu, Glalie, 
Blastoise, and Charmander. Ooh, so nice. So three bulk grades, two of your choice from my Sneaker Bunko, and the other my Growlithe Hollow. Okay, Beatrice, let's find your bag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's start by finding your bag. Brigido, Brenton. Oops. Ah, here we are. Whoa, that's pretty spicy. So one, two, that was easy. And Growlithe. I think this is one of the sexiest cards in the entire Sneaker Bunko set. So we're just going to grade both of these. Get that sleeved up. What's up with that boob shine? You guys notice that on animes? There's like a little glossy shine on the boobage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Beatrice! Thank you so much, Beatrice. Was there more to the order? I think that's it. Mm -hmm. Wow, both are lucky. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. They are sent sniff. <laughs> oh my god, dude. They went full fan service because money is nice. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> Rub the card for good luck. I don't know about that, man. It's got to be FBI open up in two seconds in here. <laughs> you guys can do that when the card arrives at your place. The house always wins. I wish YouTube had scratch and sniff. Beatrice... When you go to work, don't you make some money? It's just the way it works, man. 927. <laughs> what did we do five minutes ago? There we go. Look at this. Beatrice. Mister, is it fine that I didn't receive any tracking email for my shipment from last week? Um... I've heard of that happening. If you'd like, you can con if it's a whole week old, you contact me on Discord and I'll take a minute and I'll look it up for you, okay? Wilder Cardona says, shipping for only my slabs, I should have three or four of them. You got it, Mr. Wilder? Mm -hmm. All right, we're getting you some shipping. Mm -hmm. All right, give me a moment. I don't know what you were talking about. You were starting a male gay movement in Africa. What conversation did I just stumble upon? Slabs only. Keep that sneaker card out. <laughs> I wasn't done. <laughs> okay. So Wilder's taken care of. Here's Taven Richardson. Never open a Top Series 1 pack before, so hopefully this pack hits. Good luck, Taven. These Series 1 packs are in great condition. That's why the price is a little bit higher. You know, there's a lot of these packs for sale in the market. But guess what? A lot of the time, they're so sticky, they're destroyed when you pull them apart. So this particular box isn't quite so sticky. You might actually pull a 10 out of here. You might. I'm not guaranteeing that you will, because even when a pack has no stickiness, it's still difficult. Hopefully, you pull a Charizard. That's the best pull, by the way. Charizard's the best pull. But there's some other seriously good pulls, like Pikachu, Squirtle, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Venusaur, Blastoise. After that, I'm not 100% sure what the best one would be. There's an Alkazam. I know that. Alkazam. Hmm. Jigglypuff, maybe? Cubone? Yeah, Jigglypuff and Cubone are both in here. Arcanine, he's pretty cool. Yeah, there's an Arcanine. I see Psychic. Is that Psychic? 
I don't think that's psychic. Oh my God. Did you see that? Look at this, guys. Woo! That's a hit. Taven Richardson picking up vintage Venusaur from Tops, And did you see how it peeled apart real easy? That means you might actually have a shot at a 10. Maybe it will grade 10. Congratulations, man. Yeah, pretty good, right? So hold on. There we go. Sticky a little bit. Just slightly. Not on the front, though. That's very displayable. Could be a 9 if the sticky uh, speckles show up and they don't like it. But the corners are looking real clean, too. So I'm really liking this. And let's flip it around. Uh, yeah, well, no, there is a little residue showing up here. Might, might be a nine. I don't know how they judge the stickiness. I'm going to find out, though, because I'm about to have a whole bunch of these graded. But I know if it were me, that would lose it a grade. The stickiness would. A seven? That's a bit harsh. It looks quite good. All right. Beautiful. Let's see if we got a non-hollow Charizard in here. Boy, if only this didn't stick at all. That would be... Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. You got the best pack, dude. Look at that. And that one wasn't sticking. Now, look at that label. That's a green label. Very cool. So, you got a green label Charizard there. Taven, that's, that was a winning pack, dude. Very hot. Very hot. Very lucky. Dude, I don't know how to get rid of this fly, dude. How do they survive everything? I, like, swat the fly, and it just comes right back. It's like, no, I'm cool. Okay. The oh, my God! He's pulling Blastoise! He got the whole team! Wow, that's definitely a clip. Oh, my God. He got the whole team, guys, in one pack. That's Taven Richardson. He says he'd never opened Topps cards before. Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur in one pack. That was a moneymaker, Taven. Unbelievable. Now, that's possible with, like, Squirtle, Ch uh, Charmander, Bulbasaur, Pikachu. You could pull, like, all of those in a single pack. That's possible. Mr. No Way. <laughs> Taven's freaking out a little bit. <laughs> He's like, I've never had so much luck. <laughs> that's pretty good right I'm happy for you Taven yeah that was a really good pack man he made a good amount of money on that one I mean if just the Charizard grades 10 I'm pretty pretty sure he goes for a really good chunk of money alright see I snipped the corner I did that so that I wouldn't have to apply any pressure when I sleeved it up but yeah I thought this guy was in really good condition Good luck with the grades on them. They might not be 10. It, they're square cut cards and they are hard to, to grade. But let's say in theory that the Charizard did grade 10. I'm going to tell you what it what is possible of doing, okay? So if we have buy it now, is that really it? So we have a red logo Charizard, this one right here. That's That appears to be the only one for sale though. 600 seems a bit steep. I don't think 600 is correct. I, I would bet that 150 would be correct. Let me check sold items. Give me a moment. Yeah, 600 seems really high. Uh, well, maybe I'm wrong. Oh, that's a hollow. Okay, no, no, no. There was a hollow that sold for 350 in auction. Yeah, I don't know, man. Might be an expensive card because I just don't see any for sale. So, if it grades well, you might have a, a real hitter on your hands. All right, cool, man. Taven. Taven with the T. All right, let me grab your bag. I bet it's going to be in here. The orange is so bright. I know. Long line? No, not really, but I'm sorry. We were opening up that box. Uh, the uh, Plasma Blast box. So, that has caused a bit of a delay... And that's why you feel yourself waiting a long time because it, it wasn't really the size of the line. It was just the fact that we did that box break. Brooks Bellinger, one shiny star. Okay, Brooks, let's see what we got. And one lost origin. This is for Brooks Bellinger. Oh, Brooks. Sneep. Wow, Taven just got an excellent pack. 
Here's Cramorant. And shoop. Regigigas. That's not Regigigas. Reggie Drago. Reggie Drago to the Poke Poles. The lag. Small baby what? Ooh, you know what I was just thinking about? I'm going to get on Walmart.com and order some beef jerky. That sounds really good. Was plasma cold? Yeah, so we opened up 10 packs. Uh, it, the, the box wasn't selling, and so I said, we're going to get rid of plasma. This is why I decided. We're, gonna, we're just going to open this box that had already sold and move on to the next box so we can actually do a box break, right? I didn't want to wait forever for plasma blast to sell off. And it just so happened to be my luck. And the luck could have gone the other way, but it just so happened to be my luck that no full arts got pulled. So that's pretty decent. It's a loaded box now. All right, Brooks Bellinger. Let me find your bag, Brooks. Brooks! All right, Brooks. Oh! Here we are. I'd sell the remaining packs to you guys, but I don't want to... I don't want to, like, reward people for staying out of the box and speculating on it. You see? That would create an incentive for you to not buy spots. That would create an incentive for you to wait for me to open up 10 packs at a time and see what the outcome is, and then you would decide to buy in. So that would be bad. Taven Richardson says, four fates. Oh, Mr. Taven. One, two, three, four. All right, you ready? Mr. Kuhn, is that what you'd call me? Hey. Are they going into the lives? Uh, good question. I mean... I could do that. It's a possibility. Maybe I'll take a couple of them and put them in the lives. All right, Taven Richardson. Oh, Mr. Taven. We got Deerling Lugia. I like that Lugia non-hollow. Kangaskhan Moltres. Those are pretty cool. This is for Taven Richardson. Whimsicott Carbink. And Wigglytuff Carbink. Hmm, that's a rough round. Four fates collide. Ooh, so pretty. Actually, the Lugia is kind of nice. Lugias and fates collide. There's actually two. No, there's three Lugia cards, technically. Lugia, common, uncommon. Technically, he's a rare, actually. Okay, so Lugia rare, Lugia break, and golden Lugia. Open the packs and put the comments on the Pokey Breast. Mister should slap his own pee pee pick. All right, Taven, Taven Richardson with the T A. Here we are. Wow, Taven! Oh my God, I'm knocking the camera over. Taven was going real deep tonight. I'm really impressed, Taven. There we go. Thanks, man. Well, you got an expensive bag now, Taven. Taven Richardson says three Pokemon poker cards. Inky. Taven's just ordering a little bit of everything tonight. You got pack number or card number one. Card number two is random. Oh, it's gonna be silver deck. And since you ordered three, I'm gonna grab you a guaranteed blue card right now. There you go. What do we got? Graveler. <laughs> oh, Meganium. That's hot. All right. And Zubat. <laughs> so two cold ones, one hot one, Taven. Not bad. The Meganium is from the silver deck. I believe the Zubat was the blue deck. Price up on the Attack on Titan final. I don't have it yet. Let me do it after this round. And uh, of the um, of the list, and then we'll get it priced up. I promise. So William Schaefen says he will take the King of Hearts Suicune. Isn't that cool? So that's a nine point five Suicune from the Silver Deck. Wow, beautiful card. When are you going to sell your bathwater? Very soon, William Schaefen. Schaefen. Mm -hmm. Give me a moment. All right, cool. 
A Eileen Gregg, five lost origins. Oh, Miss Eileen. One, two, three, four, five. Miss Eileen. How are you tonight, Eileen? Your man treat you right? Sleep. My wallet has been ready. Sleep. All right. <laughs> Here's Phantom. It's getting rough out here, mister. John promised me a piece of your hair. Oh, my God. All right. We got Porygon Azor Rourke. Right. Here, Silicon. And finally, Beautyfly Horsey. <laughs> Jesse says, bro. So, Aelin. Eileen. Spelled Aelin. This yo man's? There we go. I love the little growl you do. The little rant. <laughs> <clears throat> David Richardson says three battle booster spots. All right, you got it. Taven, you're going in. Well, you're going deep tonight, huh? There we go. Mm -hmm. Tyler Berry, one more Poke Bra. I have a bag. And what are your top three favorite Pokemon? Tyranitar, uh, Magneton, Dusclops, maybe? All right, here goes. There's a couple Pokemon I like. Oh, you got a fat bag. Ditto. Drago, Ditto, Stunfisk. Uh, you got a bad one, man. Oh, you got this cool Venusaur. Look at the code on the back of this one. What that means is that this particular code card was part of the first print wave from uh, Shiny Star. So this is gradable, by the way, if you didn't know this. Mega Venusaur. The, all these code cards are gradable cards. All right. You got kind of a junkie pack there, though. Oof. I remember putting that together and seeing the Stunfisk, and I said, let's let this pack be a cold pack. But, you know, Stunfisk and Venusaur from, from Wave 1. I don't know about the Stunfisk. He's like, a, he's like a troll Pokemon. Tyler Berry. Oh, Tyler. They can't all be super hot. We must have some cold packs to subsidize the hot packs. There must be Pokemon sacrifices. Sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. Okay, Manual Bravo, Ancient Origins box break. That's right. So the next box break, by the way, is Ancient Origins. An absolutely fantastic set that continues to rise in price. So if you do not jump in today, you might be finding out that it's more expensive tomorrow. And I don't mean that literally, but, I, you know, I mean like in half a year, right? Brett Fairney, can I please have one Ultra Prism? Oh, Brett, it's Brett Fairney. One Pogo English. And one shipping to my PayPal address. Inky. We all need to be socialism, says Luke. <laughs> Where's my free ones? There we go. All right. Here's Conkledur. Okay, Conkledur. And Vulpix. Yay! What's the queue currently? Uh, I think it's pretty short, actually. Yeah, it's pretty short. So that's Brett Fairney. We're going to find your bag. Here it is. Free the pipeline. Mister, do you ever look at other RIP channels to stay competitive? Uh, on a rare occasion. But, you know, typically uh, the prices are pretty uncomplicated, so I don't need to do that. You know, like, let's say a set's not selling. Well, time to lower the price on it. There we go. So, Brett, have we shipped you before, Brett? If we have, you are not domestic. Ah, here it is, Brett Fairney. So give me a moment, Brett. Mm -hmm. I like Mr.'s personality. Cult of Personality. I can't remember how that song goes. It's been too long. 
It's been a nice night tonight so far, guys. Lots of activity. Yeah, you've shipped me. Lower the price for plasma. <laughs> Plasma's gone, man. It's not for sale. Wait, is this still on the menu? Shouldn't be. Inky. And we'll put that email here. Boop. And now we'll grab that phone number. It's funny, the second time I ship an international package, it typically does actually save the information. Not weird. It goes, all right, this time we'll save the phone number. You must like shipping to this guy. This time we'll save it. <laughs> so I'm filling out the custom form now. Okay. What are you guys talking about? Sent for three plasma. You said if packs don't sell, lower the price. Plasma looking a little not sold. Plasma is sold to me. Yay! I got lucky tonight. I bought some plasma blast booster packs, and I think they're kind of hot. Mister should sell his nose hair. You couldn't handle this nose hair. This is the nose hair of the gods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, cool. Simon Frank. Hey, Simon returns. I have a bag. It's been a while. Can I get two live customs? Yes, you can, Simon Frank. First of all, Simon, you're going to get this tops card. And now let's see what those two live customs are. So we got one. Oh, look at that. That's a hit. And two. How nice. Dreams really do come true. Eight and $20 toward the gold bat. Oh, very interesting. <laughs> you got the dust ducks. Well, you got them for a pretty cheap price. And then let me grab that gold bat. All right, so the gold bat jumps up to what's 293 plus 20? Is that like 313? I think it is. I love Bell Sprout. There it is, 313. Where's the charity card? There we go, Simon Frank. It's back there. Okay, we'll place this over here. So he also wants five battle styles. Let's grab those. Battle styles, huh? Mm -hmm. Five chilling rain. Love chilling rain. One, two, three, four, five. They go five chilling rain. Four Yu-Gi-Oh ghosts from the past. Okay. Give me a moment. So we got a nice sealed box for you here. Good luck. Probably gonna pull the ghost rare. You got beat by Ash's muck. How embarrassing. Delta species box break. All right. So if we did a Delta species box break. You would look. You would be looking at paying buttloads of money for a single booster pack, and then you know the whole box could be like off center hollows. You know what I mean? And it is not guaranteed that you will pull a gold star out of that Delta species. So I don't know, man. It's a lot of risk. Maybe that would make sense one day when the Delta species slabs are expensive enough. Is there a way to check my bag? I wasn't here to see what my last order was. Uh, normally, I can check your bag for you when you place an order. All right, sir, did you have a PSA 10, Badoof? What's up, Isai? How's it going, Isai? There we go. All right, here goes. I, right here, listen to what Raymond says right here. He says, I was buying raw cards from TCG. Now I realize they only sell the ugliest copy. Exactly. Everyone talks like you can just go buy like some 
raw single and voila, flip it into a 10. It's like, don't you think the people who sell those cards already figure that out? It, grading's not like some new idea now. Everyone's pretty well aware of it. So they've already looked. Now, if you're buying, I'm, strong. I'm stronger, I'm, I'm smarter, smarter. I'm, better. I'm better. I am better. Now, if you're buying some like cheap $5 card that nobody gives a crap about, maybe they don't check those for 10s. But you know what? I would not be surprised if they did even that. Um, because that's what card collecting has become. You know, this, this really try hard, you know, scary, how can I squeeze every last penny out? Sweaty palms. That's what it feels like these days. And card grading has really affected how people treat the cards. So that's why I say, you know, opening packs, it has the additional cost of, well, now you're now you're giving your money up to the RNG. Um, but what do I typically tell you guys? I typically say slabs are the buy right now. I, I, I've got all these slabs for sale. And I'm always, if you watch how I act, how I behave, what am I always doing? I'm always buying slabs. You see my TikTok videos? I've always got these slabs I'm buying. And so, you know, we'll have some more slabs priced in a minute here. But I think slabs are, like, not that bad right now. Shantoto. Like, look, a decent Gengar. It's already graded. It's already a 10. You don't take any of the risk. And it's harder than you think to pull these cards. Lugia 9. You got some 9s. Charizard 8. Ooh, here's a cool one. Look at this. Nice. So... It is possible to open up the card yourself and pull the card and get lucky on that and then get a lucky grade too. That's that's very possible. It works for a lot of people. Um, but, you know, buying slabs is a very conservative way of getting into Pokemon cards. You just already know what you're getting. There's a well-established price market. Even if you're buying an 8, there's an established market for that. Ooh. 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 If I list that one, you guys are going to go nuts for that one. Ooh. All right. So you saw some mixed grades in there. <laughs> Prieto's like, um, I'll take that one. <laughs> Here's Esper. But so for my opinion, the best things you can be doing right now is picking up an already graded card or opening up an old vintage pack. Those are the two things. And... It's tirelessly expensive. But you know why that's expensive? It's precisely expensive because we know that's that's like actually giving you a chance for like a chase pull, right? Opening up packs is, is like, it is super expensive because you're actually doing the thing that will lead to pulling a very expensive card. And that's why it's been driven up in price because people playing the Pokemon card game have figured that out. The Pokemon card collector game. Here's Porygon. So they've driven the price up by opening up as much as they can afford. Here's Welcoming Lantern. Woo! Simon, that's a rough round, actually. I'm sorry, Simon. I'm sorry there, Simon. Simon Frank, can I offer you some free shipping? I wouldn't mind getting you some free shipping here, Simon. you got an unusually large bag. Let me show you. So this is the Simon Frank bag. And I feel like it's shipping time for Simon Frank. Vintage packs are so nice. <laughs> What's the most expensive single booster pack? I don't know. First edition base set. I need to start a bag. I'd be confused how to order. Well, it's not really too complicated. Um, you just send a payment through PayPal for what you want. Then I put it in a bag for you. And then you don't ship. Uh, I don't automatically ship your stuff. Typically, you have to order a round of shipping. All right. But this time, I am shipping Mr. Simon Frank's stuff for free. Mr. Simon Frank, give me a minute. Mm-hmm. Gotcha, mister. So PayPal. We use PayPal. Oh, Simon Frank's in Germany. So that would be a very, very expensive shipment. Okay. Very interesting. Simon, I'm going to recommend uh, that we do a shipment soon. And I recommend that you drop a lot of these hollows. Okay. 
If who has the biggest bag? Ooh, good question. I think Alex has the most stuff over here currently. So yeah, Simon, I can't cover a free shipping to Germany. That would be extremely expensive um, because I can tell you right now, you have an $80 shipment for this. All these cards, because of how heavy this would be, this would be an $80 shipment plus your slabs, right? Um, if you drop these Yu-Gi-Oh! Hollows and Pokemon Hollows, it would get significantly cheaper. It'd probably drop down to the $40 mark. So if you value all these at 40 US dollars, keep them. If you don't value them at 40 dollars, drop them so that the shipping becomes cheaper, okay? Can I slap away the celebration Charizard? Not yet cuz we haven't come up with the price yet, okay? So let's do a rotate on these by the way. There's some nice cards on the table too. We got Jasmine's Electabuzz 9. You should put a link to a video you created about how to order and the types of products you sell in your YouTube description. That's not a bad idea. Yeah, I should do that soon. Koga's Crobat. So nice. Oh, beautiful green deck Squirtle. Okay, he's a 9.5. PSA 9, Evolutions Charizard, and Pristine Cloud. Very cool. Now, that's a non hollow cloud, okay? All right. Now we got Mr. Mahasvara. Mahasvara is coming in with the grading order. Let's grade both RR and FA Serena, both RR and FA Wallace, Radiant Jirachi, Melodic Character Rare, Superior, and Mawile. Oh, man, this is going to take a little while, huh? I should have sorted this beforehand, shouldn't I have? I should have known Mahasvar. I'm being a silly goof, man. So you want to grade what? Inky. Oh my God, you got a lot. You guys will need to bear with me. We're going to sort Mr. Mahasvara's stuff. Mr. Mahasvara has gone very deep. He's got a lot of stuff. I stand behind what Alex said. Okay, that is just a whole bag of hollows, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to guess you want this graded. This graded. I'm smarter. I'm better. I'm better. <laughs> I am still loving that sound effect. Oh, no. All those lovely hollows. Oh no! Oh no! My pee pee! It itches! Oh my god, that looks nice. So I'm just gonna set this to the side first, though. <laughs> All right. Wow. This must be like what the card shops do when they want to uh, open up a trillion packs and then get them sold as singles. What are you doing, Step Mister? <laughs> what is the most expensive credit card that you possibly own that you can legally tell us you have? Credit card? You mean Pokemon card? What are you talking about? What are you talking about, old son? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't really sound like that in real life. I'm guessing you want that graded. We should have done this from the very start. I think you wanted me to grade that. Hold on. The superior comes with me. There we go. We're doing the great sorting of Mr. Mahasvara's bag, everybody. He's got a lot of stuff, huh? What do you think of that? Should that be allowed? Or should it be E-legal? I definitely think it should be E-legal. Okay, so far so good. Now for this last round. Serena, Serena. It should be E-legal. Okay, ho-oh. 
Got your little melodic. I know you're a little fan of that melodic. Oh my God. There we go. I'm so pissed. I'm going to have a BF. What's a BF? He's about to touch. This better not be a trick. What is the most expensive great grated card? Um, this one. All right, so let's read this message again. Both RR and FA Selena, both RR and FA Wallace, Radiant Jirachi, Melodic Character Rare, Superior V, and Mawile V. Okay. Let's start by collecting those rainbows. There's a Jirachi, right? Serena. Uh, oh, Serena. <laughs> now, he also wanted a melodic character rare. Here's... Where'd it go? Oh, that was one. Here it is. Melodic character rare. And the Mawile with bead in it. Mm, I don't. I don't think I saw that one. Here it is. Okay, I think that's it. Cool. Whoa, that's a big order. So we got it all sorted out. You got a hit bag now. Good night, Sasuke. I saw your video on predictions. Very insightful, helpful knowledge. No problem, man. Getting a lot of positive feedback about that video. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. Thanks, mister, says Mahasvar. Thank you, Mr. Mahasvar. Here, let's get you a little bonus one, Mahasvar. How about that? So I get to pick one out of my choice. Uh, I think I already know what I want it to be. Let's get your melodic graded. There we go. You say you like melodic? We'll get a little melodic hollow. Thing is, I know that you wouldn't spend the money to grade it because it's just a hollow, right? Is the video on your channel? Yeah, you can find a link to it at the top of the description right now. So nice. Here's my while. See ya in a while, Mr. My while. Melodic. Okay, there's a melodic. I love watching these boxes get open. Oh, loved watching. Oh, yeah. So he opened a ton of these. Here is the Serena. I say Raisin Bran. It was fun getting them open. Mahasfara has good pulls. Here's Jirachi. Okay, lovely. Now, you actually had two of these Wallaces. I like this one. This one looks really cool, by the way. The Superior. That is really neat. Love seeing the SGC slab. Yeah, at the time that I went with them, I was just getting some of this poker cards graded because I knew SGC actually would grade the poker cards. Can I still put it in order? What time is it? 2.21? You sure can. Plenty of time left. Okay. Nice little order there. Now, let's get you a baggie. Oh, this baggie will work. Mr. Will You Carry, the Halloween Pokemon set. I saw it, and I actually decided not to. I'm not going to carry sets like that in the future, like the McDonald's sets and stuff like that. They're too junky. I mean, I'll look them over. If they're nice, then yes, I'll carry them. But I saw it. It wasn't that impressive. I was just like, meh. I sent for the Evo Zard. Will you have the Halloween mini cards? Lost Abyss was a cool set, and Incandescent Arcana is a pretty set. Okay, next up, Daniel Hall for Merlin Series 1. Thanks for your epic patience, Mr. Daniel. We're on Daniel Hall. Three, four. Okay, he wanted four of these. Merlin Series stickers. Series 1. 
Mr. will be going as himself on Halloween. <laughs> what? Why can't we get McDonald's promos like the E-Series did? I don't know. Sent you a Discord message about shipping. No problem, man. All right, there we are. Magikarp. Okay, what do we got here? Bulbasaur. Oh, my. Here's Beedrill. Last year, Mr.'s hand was Jennifer Lopez. I am Jennifer Lopez. I like taco and burrito. Taco, taco, taco burrito. Here we are. How does she say the Jennifer? The Jennifer? I, I can't remember. He had like a little accent to the J, I think. Okay, here's Jesse. Are you able to label shipments as gifts? Uh, no. No, I'm not. But what I can do is I can I can exaggerate that your cards aren't too expensive, which is kind of true. Oh, Jennifer. That's what he said, wasn't it? I'm Jennifer Lovett. <laughs> Halloween cards are mid and poor quality. There we go. Oh my god, that was such a crazy episode. Inky. Oh. When she started having sex with Ben Affleck. Oh my god, that was so crazy. Even back then, I was kind of like, okay, that's too far. Daniel Hall. Oh, Mr. Daniel. I'd rather take the hollows from those kids who don't sleeve them. What? All right, look at that. Lovely Gengar there. Isaac Lopez. Shipping on my two slabs and a return label. You're the best, Mr. Darth Twizzy. All right. What's this? How do I print a... Oh, very interesting. Okay, hold on. Let me go into my history and cancel the label that I just printed. It's crazy how most pack fresh Watsi era cards will grade no lower than a nine. Throw that away. What's he saying? Uh, but with modern, you can get eights and even sevens from pack fresh quality. Well, I don't think that's 100% true. I just got some cards back and a lot of them graded uh, eight, I guess. Yeah, you can get some You can get some low grades on the Watsy stuff, sadly. <laughs> I know all too well. All right, so we're canceling the label we just made. Your refund has been submitted. Thank you. Now we're going to go back here. Okay, and we are printing a label with a return label. Let's see how that works. Ah, very cool. Okay. Literally, none of the cards will be valuable. You'll get like three full sets from one 40-pack bundle, so what's the point? Keep them for the kids. I agree. So, uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, you're so nice, Mr. Twizzy. Helping me out. Ace of Hearts Squirtle isn't so bad looking. You want to see him up close? He's pretty cool. Maybe they considered him a little off-center. So, who's 
next? Unyielding cards. He wants three picking girls up in a dungeon. You got it. I'm buying the Trick O Treat bags and taking out all the cards and leaving the empty wrappers in the bag with raisin boxes. You should buy the packs and then put G.I. Joe cards on the inside and reseal them so that when they open up the booster pack thinking they're going to get Pokemon, they instead get G.I. Joe. It'll be the perfect evil plan. <laughs> Lucid says, for sure. <laughs> That's pretty evil, man. <laughs> Poor kids. I'm going to get Pikachu. <laughs> Sleep. My computer making noises over here. So, why has no one done that before? Genius. Boy, it's like I got a bug bite right here. What is up with this itching? Weird. Okay. Could I have gotten a bug bite while sitting here? Spider bite. Okay. Got the booby girl number one. And in pack number two. Girl having maybe a drink at a bar. And then pack number three. Oh my dear God. Wow, man. They know how to sell cards. This is why we open Weiss cards and not Magic the Gathering cards. Whew. Crazy, man. I'm sweating over here. All right, that's for unyielding cards. Let's find your back. Master. Holy Jesus, man. Master, why am I feeling funny now? I don't know. That's a good question. How, do, how does the artist know to make this spot like glossy and red? How does that work on my mind? I don't understand. What has, got, what has that got to do with anything? That doesn't naturally occur, right? All right, we got 12 people in the queue. Now you know how long the queue is. Brian says, five Dawn of Legends. This is Brian Garcia. Okay, Brian Garcia. I'll move this over here real fast. Mm -hmm. Throw this away. So Brian Garcia, five Dawn of Legends. One, two, three, four, five. Because of Chi-Chi's. <laughs> Why are the boobies glossy red? Like, biologically, why is that attractive? Somebody explain. Sleep. It's Brian Garcia. He returns. Hello, Brian. Pee Pee Spanky's where the blush is at. La Leche goes there. What? All right, here we go. What we got? Demon God Shroom. Here's Sun Goku, Blood. Hmm. That's a good point. Frieza, Pan, Inherited Bloodline. Same logic, but not sure why it works. Okay. That's a super rare. Pan, Growing Up Fast. Saw God Rare Goku sell for 15k. What? And Krillin. Never knew... DBZ, how crazy DBZ has gotten. Yeah, that's pretty neat, man. I think 15,000 is a little too high, though, for me, for a card set that just came out. All right. People all trying to get ahead of it, you know what I mean? They're like, this will be 15,000 10 years from now. Maybe. Maybe it goes to zero. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, it's, it's too speculative for me right now. A lot of these said, well, I, then on the other hand, it's an older, it's an older brand. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't watch Dragon Ball, so I don't connect to it. Free Spanish lessons for Mr. Yay! I'll be speaking Spanish in no time. Espanol. Okay, now we've got Joseph Juarez. One sneaker bunko. How do I say bark for me in Spanish? Like this. Bark for me. Rar, 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 rar. All right, Joseph Juarez. Yo! All right. Okay, so you got one very spicy card from your sneaker bunko. Mm -hmm. What is up with these anime girls always having, like, ears or something like that? 
Okay, that's for Joseph. What would you like to know in Spanish? Joseph Juarez. Labrar para mi. Here we go. Goku God Rare doesn't exist. Ladra Puta. Um, next, we've got Sean Zhang. He says two Fantasia Bunkos. So what's better, two Fantasia Bunkers or one Sneaker Bunko? I feel like the Sneaker Bunko... I feel like the Sneaker Bunko has the, uh, the more erotic cards, to be honest. All right. Queris lecha means you want milk. Oh my god. Here's boobies. I'm never gonna remember that, by the way. <laughs> There's a bad rock and a vagaida. They're like 3k raw. Sneaker is better than OnlyFans. I have the memory of a goldfish. Okay, that's a hollow. Ooh. Would you guys like it if I got some vintage Spanish Pokemon cards? That's an option. They're cheaper. I don't think they sell uh, for as much as the English ones. I think English is kind of like the standard, you know what I mean? But there's probably a little economy for the Spanish cards as well, right? Everything's got its price. Okay, there we go. Kyle Shaw. Wow, he wants three spots in the Ancient Origins. I know you didn't just pronounce Vagaida like that. It's pronounced Vagaida. Say it right. Gotta say it with gusto. Oh, hold on. Gotta make sure I write your name down. There we go. Mr. Kyle Shaw. Started to write Kyle Garcia. <laughs> so he wants three Cosmics. You're going deep, dude. This man's off the charts. Oh, here we are. Portuguese cards are better, says Alex. What's the difference between Portuguese and uh, Spanish? Are they very different? Okay, Kyle. He also wants three Roaring Skies. Let me grab that. Wow, Kyle Shaw going real deep tonight. Don Silence says, Mr. Say blank blank. I don't know, man. I'm worried. I don't know what that means. You guys are going to get me to say something like the N-word in Spanish or something. Portuguese cards can suck. My, it means I love you. <laughs> there we go. They are different. What's up? Rasmus, some words are similar, sound alike, but completely different. Here's Slugma Balls. The pronunciation is different. Here's Throw. Kagar means poop, says A. Perez. There we go, Cosmoam. All right, so your Cosmics, Mr. Kyle, we're terrible. I'm sorry. Not my choice that they would be so cold. I would have given you hot ones if it was up to me. Portuguese would sell higher, says Raymond. Really? Why is that? Oh, look at that. Deoxys. Beautiful pull. Deoxys reverse hollow. He said blank. Nah, we are not that evil. You said it right too, mister. Oh, thanks. Here's Voltorb and Victini. It's also a color in Spanish, but we don't like to use it like that. Here's Voltorb. And Taylor Execute Halucha Pikachu. Toga Kiss. All right. Wow. You want a little bonus card? I feel like you got a rough, rough round there. Hopefully much better in the Ancient Origins, man. Get you a little Venomoth Tops card. Very fresh Tops card. You guys over here getting me to say bad words, snickering about it. <laughs> he said the thing. All right, Kyle. Man, so cold he froze it. We can't spell the color without getting banned. <laughs> I think I know what the color is. 
because I, I had crayons when I was younger. And they had the English version of the color and the Spanish version of the color. And I always thought it was particularly offensive. <laughs> I was like, hey, we don't use that word. Not in this house. Alan Ebale, one ancient origin and three battle style. Okay, you got it. Okay, Alan. Ebale? There you go, Alan. So a nice chunk of this box has moved in one stream. I'll be sure to ping the server when we're going to open it, okay? To help you guys not miss it. Boop. Battle style. Mm, battle styles. When sleep. Pietro is also a slur in some places. All right, there we go. So this is for Alan. Oh, Alan. Did you already have a bag, Alan? NDD. Santa Cana Heatmore. And Mawile. Ooh, Mawile. Alan Bale. The Bale says not yet. Okay, we'll create a new bag for you, Mr. Alan. We just created a new box. AL3 to handle all the people who have AL in their name. Three boxes just for the letter combination AL. Baby Konamis wants to invest into the crayon until he saw the injustice. <laughs> there we go. Ha-ha, Alan. <laughs> we have Kaylee Hancock's one Pokemon card. One Pokemon card. What does that mean? <laughs> Kaylee. Kaylee said one Pokemon card. One General Mills. Okay, I know that one. Let's grab a General Mills. Here it is. One twenty fifth anniversary McDonald's. So the twenty fifth anniversary pack costs a little more because it's a little more special. Oops. There it is. It's a bit older now, isn't it? Okay, so what would this be together? Well, that's about ten bucks. So I think he does want one poker card. Poker card. Okay, you got it. I'm just going to grab it, actually. Here we go. I'm going to bring the whole box down for a single poker card. File plume. So cute. See that texturing in the background? Not a fan of that texturing. The little red squares. Almost looks like missing number or something, right? It's like ugly camo or something. What's interesting is on blue deck, they don't have this. That doesn't exist on blue deck. All right, Litten, Litten the Kitten. 25th anniversary McDonald's was so much more fun because it was hard to get pulls. You, you weren't like guaranteed to get a good pull. Oh, Pikachu, just Pikachu. Lovely Pikachu. Okay, and let me get this music playing again. Little birdie. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Let's get lit 10. So Kaylee with the K. Find your bag, Kaylee. Corey. Ah, here we are, Kaylee. Nice of you to drop by, Kaylee. All right, perfect. Tyler Berry says, one more Poke Bra. I'm going deep. Also, what's your most disliked shiny Pokemon? I'm not the greatest fan of the color palette of shiny Dragonite. Oh, man, I don't even know. <sighs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure, man. Ugliest shiny Pokemon? I think they all look really cool. I like the shiny Pokemon, just because they're so different. 
Have you seen the Japanese E-Series McDonald cards? Yeah, I've seen them. I've graded one for Nogala. Nogala sent me a couple. All right, here goes. Tyler. Did you ever play the South Park games? I never did. Yeah, I never did. All right, what we got? Oh, wow. Magazone. Spiritum. Blussy. Reverse Hollow EV is actually kind of decent. Oh, there we go. Pri uh, Ultra Prism Arceus. Charizard. <laughs> That's Dunfisk. Any Veltal. Cool. Well, that was a nicer round than the last one. I really like the Arceus. Okay, that was for Tyler Berry. Let's find this. Ugh. Those hollows, by the way, are kind of decent. They're from an older Sun and Moon set called Tag Bolt, I believe. Tag Bolt's pretty old now. Arturo Perez, ship my slabs and my junk, but leave my hits. Inky. Arturo Perez. Why is there so much Stunfisk? Hey, mister, how's the stream going? Oh, you know, pretty easy. Nice, clean stream. Nobody's complaining about big lag spikes. Isn't that nice? Um, here's boobies. Oh, my God. All right. Whew. I guess you might want to keep that. You got a lot of junk. I'm not going to lie. I, I, nobody's ever requested to grade one of these, so no. Cut the Digimon. Why are you talking about? Ooh, that's a full art. Oh my god. Why isn't my wife a succubus? A succubi. Okay, very cool, very cool. Those are some full arts. Very cool, that's a full art. All right, there you go. So not a lot left, to be honest. You just got this little pile. Oh my dear God. Glad it's going well. I like the late streams. By the way, what time is it, 2.45? No more orders, guys. That is gonna be the wrap up point. Yes, time to wrap it up. Wrap it up. No more. We don't want to go any further than three. There we go. Do you feel like people really like that emoji, the O face emoji? I feel like it's hard to see. Or all 28 unknown tag team. I have a junk bag now. Oh, I have a junk bag and now it's clean. There we go. Arturo. Perez. There we go. I watched your prediction video and thought you made some super good points. I've been hearing that a lot. Thank you, man. Okay, let's grab... Brilliant. Let's grab you a label, Mr. Arturo. Oh, let me cancel this. We do not want a return label. No return service. Try that again. Print. What is this emote? That's Jinx giving a little smooch. Smooch. Bark for me. Rawr, 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 rawr. That's my favorite one. Okay. Do I have an ETB box? That would be nice. No ETBs, really? Wow. Here, actually, let me fill this. Okay, this will work. In 2023, will waifu cards go to the moon? They could. Good question. I mean, let me ask you a question. Do you feel like in 2023, all the anime guys are going to turn into chads and, and no longer be lonely because they all get hot girlfriends? Or do you feel like they're still going to be super lonely and depressed and wanting waifu booby girls? Here's Mutal. Here's Pidgeot. Here's Gyarados. 
double. <laughs> double does not sell. All right, there we go. Moon it is. <laughs> right. Brandon Galligan, ship my bag. I have one TCC slab. You got it, Brandon. So Brandon Galligan also wants shipping. Let's start looking for a Brandon Galligan bag. Benjamin, Brian, Big Lance, Brian Price, Broden. How old of a bag are we talking here, Brandon? Brandon Hill. All right, I feel, well, you know, we haven't gone back far enough. Brian Sandoval, Brian Vacation, Brian something. All right, we've, we've gone to the back here. That's far enough. Let's check the next box. New. Brandon, I feel like I'm checking every box but the correct one. Ordered like two weeks ago, medium sized bag. Okay, that gives me some important details. So you have to be in this last box. Brandon Galligan, right in the front. And let's get you a label. So is it just the one slab, by the way? We're going to go ahead and say one TCCG slab. Maybe I should say only. There we go. Communicating with John, making his job a little bit easier when I can. Okay, after Brandon, we have Jack Yeoman, 80 towards my slab away. Thanks, Jack. Hold on, give me a moment. So let me jump over here to slab away. And it was Jack Yeoman. So we're going to go up here. So $80, Jack Yeoman. Here it is. And this means you have $190 remaining. Right? Yep. Okay. We did that. Very good. Mud. Wait, did I do that right? Hold on. <laughs> I got to check my math. Yeah, I did that right. I'm going crazy. So Matalski, Charizard Evo Slab. Oops, you sent me 25 cents. Lee Goins says two evolving skies. One Fantasia Bunko. I'm from Scotland, so please make it worth the exchange rate. Scotland! Oi! Grab Fantasia Bunko. I was shopping for houses in the UK because I'm dreaming of maybe buying a house in a foreign country. Maybe just a little house in a foreign country. Maybe we'd use it for vacation. I don't know. Now, that's the only thing that holds me back is I don't even know how much we'd use it. I wouldn't want to rent it. I don't want to be like some rental service guy in the UK. It kind of annoy me if I did something like that. So it would just be a house that sits empty when I'm not using it. Here's Elemental Badge. And realistically, I don't think I could go out too often. Oh, I'm so busy with the card stream. There we go. I'd love to have my kids in the UK rather than in the USA because then they'd all have the, the accents. There we go. All right. All right, Lee. Lee! It wasn't too crazy, Lee. I'm sorry about how expensive it got. Buy a house and I'll watch it for you. <laughs> All right, we'll do it. I'm sorry about the change in the currency rates. You guys all understand why the pound is falling, right? All kinds of problems going on in the world right now. They're struggling over there. Okay, let's see. 
Raymond Ortiz, three poker cards. You got it, Raymond. Mm -hmm. All right, we got Charizard. Oh, you're getting a yellow deck. Very lucky. And a blue deck, just like that. Red, yellow, blue. That makes sense. Hitmonlee, oof, he's not in the best condition. The blue deck Pidgeot's really nice, though. You know why? That's a fresh deck. The pound is no longer falling. Can't get lower. Well, never say that. <laughs> it certainly can. Um, it could go to zero. Anything can go to zero, technically. But it, I'm, I'm, it won't, obviously. That's what we're really saying is we're confident it probably won't. Uh, but, man, so with the exchange rates the way they are, now is a fantastic time for me to run over and buy something expensive from the UK. And I would just love to just buy some kind of house or something, but I, I just wasn't, I was caught unprepared. I've been tossing all my leftover money into the stock market, which by the way, that's been doing terrible. If I hadn't been doing that, I might've had some real money saved up for like a down payment. And then, but I don't know all the paperwork you got to do to buy an international home. Curtis Michael Noskier, one pokey bro. Also, I wouldn't be 100% confident how I would use a house in the UK. I guess I'd have to fly over there for like a week and then live there for like a week and I'd have to furnish it and I'd have to get internet to it and I'd have to just get everything running. And then I'd use it for a week and then I would come back here and go back to work and that house would not be... I mean, I couldn't just go there on the weekends. You're talking about flying for hours just to spend a weekend. So, yeah, it's, it's a complicated thing, huh? All right, one Pokey Bro. Oh, Articuno, how nice. I don't think I'm able, unless I were to just straight up move to the UK, I don't think I can really buy a house over there. It doesn't make sense. Mister, I noticed you accept Dogecoin now. Yeah, should I add another type of uh, currency, cryptocurrency? Wow, Curtis, I like this pull, by the way. Look at this. Oh, that's quite clean. Hire TCC employees to occupy it. It's so easy. Why didn't I think of that? Okay, Curtis. I don't think that I would be able to make much use of it. It seems almost like I need to decide to move over there or not. But I'm worried, you know, if, let's say I ran the same enterprise over in the UK, right? I thought you hate Dogecoin. I hate Dogecoin, but I don't hate getting paid. But what was I going to say? Uh, so, if I was living in the UK, right? What if I what if I needed to um, import a bunch of cards from Japan? Would that be like huge import fees? Maybe some guys from the UK can help me out. Would I be paying like twenty percent import fees on those? Because I pay currently, I pay zero import fees in the United States. That's a big part of my business. I've heard import fees can be really bad. Three hours in, can I place an order? Ah, uh, you know, we're just now, we are just now wrapping up. I was going to say probably not. Don't move here, you'll steal the market from me. Not from Japan, no import fee. Yes, Mr. Taxes as well. Yeah, I guess, you know, if, if it seemed kind of like, you know, I could run the same business in the UK and... It would run successfully. Like, let's say that the uh, income was roughly the same. It could be a bit lower and I wouldn't care too much. But let's say uh, it could be ran the same way. Then, I, you know, I'd probably still go for it. Although I'd, I'm a bit worried about the shipping cost from the UK to the United States. I don't know what that would be like. I order a lot of cases from Japan and the import fees for me are very small and it's not a lot. So there is an import fee, though. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't get any import fees from anywhere. I, I don't think I've ever paid an import. I, I have paid an import fee before, but I think it was from somebody who didn't know how to properly internationally ship. So they must have claimed that it was something that does get an import fee. Like, I, I don't know what it would be. It must have been some category. Um, but normally I get zero import fees from anything that I buy from anywhere. Um, and so I worry in the UK that there would be like these import fees if I'm buying cards and bringing them over. Yeah, it's, it's an interesting thing. It's an interesting thing. Um, I think the other thing I'm concerned about is population size. So if the UK has a much smaller population, then locally I wouldn't be selling as much, you know, within the country. So I would be doing a lot of international selling out of the UK. A lot of items would have to be shipped across to probably to the United States because the majority of my buyers are from the U.S. 
And I wonder how much the change in shipping would be. If, if the change in shipping was rather large, that also would become a problem. So there can't be too much of a change in shipping costs going out. Uh, we have USPS over here. That's United States Postal Service. It's pretty good. Golden Boy says, don't move. I don't know. I'm kind of interested in it. It depends what part of the UK you would move to. Uh, I've, I've looked around. I, I'm not an expert on the UK, but I'd probably be, just based off of the small things I've read, probably Brighton. I hear Brighton's pretty expensive, and it, they've got a, a little beach area, and um, a place like that would be where I'm interested in moving. I was studying, I was telling you guys the other day, I was studying California too. Local shipping much cheaper in comparison to USPS. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I was like studying... Um, California, trying to understand why would someone live in California? I think I get it now. I think California is for people who are really, really rich and they just don't care what the cost of living there is because they're so wealthy, it doesn't matter. And so that's the design of the majority of the nice places in that state. And then for everyone else who's kind of like not super wealthy, it's horrible. So like if you move there, if you're already living there and you're kind of like just in the middle class, it's more like you're in poverty at that point. So I find that fascinating, um, but there must be a reason why so many rich people refuse to move out of California. I'm not sure, but then some some high profile people have left California recently. So it's it's a fascinating thing, something that is on my mind all the time, and um, I constantly think about what house to buy next. It's like always on my mind. It depends what part of the UK local shipping. Brighton is a good beach mistress. Nice there. It is. I saw a $400,000 home in Brighton and I was like, I could probably do that. $400,000? What's the down payment on that? Let's see. Now, I don't know what they would want from a foreign investor. So, But it's $80,000 if it was a 20% down payment. I could do that right now. Um, and if, if they wanted more, then I would probably have to work more. But but then if I did that, um, if I did a, if I did down payment on a house like that, that would mean that I'm definitely not moving to a nicer house out here in Lake of the Ozark. 20% down payment in UK. That's what we have in the US as well. So, and, and they might require more if I'm a foreign investor, they might require more. But yeah, I mean, the fact that, um, you know, what I last heard, I heard this yesterday. As someone who lives in the UK, don't go to London. Okay, so I've heard that the pound is currently converting like this. So one dollar, no, 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 it's the other way around. I'm sorry, it's not like this. So one pound is 1.8 dollars. And normally the pound, one pound would con convert into a dollar 40, right? <laughs> so that doesn't seem like much. It's just 32 cents, right? But actually that's huge when you're talking about uh, large amounts of money, right? So if you had a house in the UK that cost 400,000 uh, pounds, you would add about a 40% extra cost to that, which is like 160 US dollars. Is that right? So um, a $400,000 house let's say 400,000 pound house would actually normally be 560 US dollar. So this is how the currency conversion would work for me. If I saw a house this cheap or expensive, depending on how you look at it in the UK, this is what I would need in dollars to pay for it. But with your current rate of uh, 1.08, a 400,000 dollar house would then become, let me do the math real fast. Oh my God. So it would become 432K. Look at the difference. So right now, because of your currency being down, in the past, not too long ago, that house would have cost me 560,000. It's now 432,000. I mean, man, I wish I was like more certain about what I wanted to do because that seems like a really good deal then. And if the pound just returns to 140, which it might, um, then I would benefit from the, the, uh, the 
pound going back up to a dollar forty, which I don't know if it would. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sitting here thinking about it a lot. <laughs> it's a rather large change in lifestyle. Yeah. I wouldn't want to just own a half million dollar vacation home that I use like once or twice a year. I don't I think that's the problem. Mr. Gonna get shanked for his pokies. Well, you know, here's what would actually happen is I would take all my Pokemon cards, send them off to PWCC or eBay Vault, one or the other. So I'd send my collection to eBay Vault or PWCC, and then I would lock the house up real tight. Um, and the only product that would still be here would probably just be the standard product. Uh, but it would be, you know, it'd be all it would be all barred up. And and then we would head off to our vacation home in the UK. We wouldn't stay there long. We'd stay there for like a week. Even if we went four times a, a, a year, that would only be like four weeks. That'd be like one month. I, I don't feel like it's worth owning a half million dollar home for a four week stay. So you would only buy the house if you actually wanted to live there probably. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. All right, guys, it's been fun. Just sharing some of my thoughts there. I'm going to be hopping out now, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's daytime stream. Have a nice night. Just get a caravan. What?